for it. Really cool. Oh, that's so annoying. What happened last time? Um, so we left Pete for dead, which was fun. Um, then we went to the church to give back the bones from that place that burnt down, thanks to Pete. Um, I got a letter from Strad. Yeah, that's what I was, yeah. You had a we went to sleep in the church, and then you got a letter like left on your chest, which invited him to like invited us to the castle. We were like, "Fuck!" Um, and then we went. Then we went up to like the burgomaster's house or mansion or whatever the fuck it was, and just walked straight in. Not a single problem whatsoever. It was really weird. Uh, went in. Pete and him were laughing and joking. Don't read into it too much. Because they're both crazy <laughs> shit. Uh, we escape with Pete, and he says, come back for the festival thing later. And we're like, yeah, sure, we'll think about it. Um, so then we left there, decided, right, we've got a few hours to burn. What should we do? We'll go and visit the, um, like, Dusk Elves, the Bistani Dusk Elves, which are, like, west somewhere. Yeah. Went there. Um, spoke to the little. Oh, I remember writing in my notes. Left there and met the dusk elf so Katie could get a freak on. <laughs> I remember writing that. Uh, went and met the leader, and he has a sister who is trapped somehow, like souls trapped. And we have to go to an amber temple to find some relic or something like that to try and, and this, free her. And it will have a hidden weapon there that can destroy yeah, Strahd. I remember him saying relic. I just can't remember what else. Um, and that, that'll, that'll free her and somehow save the Dusk Elves. Um, um, done what? We went back to the town. Oh, we also need to go and find the fucking Wizards of the Wine at some point. The Wizards of the Wine. You went back to the town, yeah, and what happened town. then? Oh, that was some real weird shit where, like, a guy was being paraded to the streets, as far as I remember. And all the villagers were like, yay. But the, no, they really... were, no. We were parading a thatched spear through the town. Oh, something on fire. Then, yeah. There was a big bonfire. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, then and then the guy died. laughed. Yeah, and then yeah. the guy laughed because the torch went out before yeah, the mayor. That's could, like, it. And then the guy was like, "What the fuck?" So I was going to basically like kill this guy. Yeah, and yeah. We managed to talk him down. Um, and then there was this like spy-looking dude. Uh, yeah. Who, uh, yeah. Who, <laughs> there was a spy-looking dude who like asked us to go and see his lady who doesn't like the burgomaster maybe if you want to take him down and i was like yeah maybe if it gets weirder than it already fucking is um yeah somewhere but <laughs> somewhere in between that as well kate got a snake called breaker the snaker and <laughs> me, me and me and hamish speak only in fucking looks now so yeah, yeah and that's basically what i remember <laughs> wasn't there something about the there's a powerful noble woman in, yeah. yeah, there was a spy. That spy guy was like, yeah, she was. Yeah. The but she was. She's family. working for her. She isn't she working for Strad or something? I don't know. Yeah, don't know. working with it. That's what the Vistani said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's from the Watcher family. Right then. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good recap. Uh, so bits, bits from earlier as well is when you first got to the place. Uh, you went to the pub. And they also want the wine, so if you go and get the wine, you've got to choose who to give it to. Um, the Vistani said they'd give you magical potions that will allow you to leave through the fog. Um, and the publicans said that they'd give you a shit ton of cash. Um, <laughs> the Vistani also mentioned that uh, one of their young daughters has been stolen they, and they have absolutely yeah. no idea of where she's gone uh, but they're willing to um, give you something far more valuable if you can find her but there's absolutely no clues as to where she's gone um, you also learnt that the mad wizard that you've heard that fought Strahd a long time ago had been spotted to the north That uh, on the banks of the lake to the north uh electrifying the lake to catch fish um but no one dares to go near him because he's fucking mental quite obviously fucking crazy as shit <laughs> uh yeah uh casimir the dusk elf wants to go to the amber temple um but he needs a couple of weeks to prepare himself um because it's going to be hard as nails uh <coughs> level ups <laughs> um <laughs> level up. You also, a long time ago, 
uh, saw that up. weird skeleton. No, no, not well. You will level up. You're going to have to level uh, up before you go there. You can attempt right. it. But uh, prepare to die. Um, <laughs> you also had that skeleton a long time ago tell you about someone called Argonvast, which is like the home of the dragon. Yeah. Um, he says to go there as they're also enemies of Strahd. Obviously, wizards, <laughs> wizards of the wine is a place to go because everyone wants wine. Um, Trying to think what else. I think that's everything. Basically, yeah. So you went back quests. to the town. Yeah. Yep. Need, needed that rest of XP. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> Shoot Elliot a look. <laughs> the real I... Elliot a look. <laughs> <laughs> I look back <laughs> <laughs> and with with acknowledgement and agreement and yeah uh the the watcher family uh sent their weird spy type kind of representative to come and talk to you dodge that they're yeah. quite unhappy about um the current burgomaster but also the vistani may have mentioned that uh they may be on the same track as Strahd, but you're not sh you're not sure about that. Um, and obviously, Pete just was the guest of honor at this weird event <laughs> where the man ended up getting dragged through the streets, um, and that's that's where we left it. Beautiful. I think. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think we were wandering up towards the manor. Yep, you're wonder wandering towards the manor. So let's teleport you there, I guess. Let's rock. Let's rock today. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> I feel I feel some crits coming, boys. <laughs> I feel some crits coming. <laughs> Criff. <laughs> Criff, 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 Criff. No, no. <laughs> Maker the Snaker. No, no. Maker the Snaker. I thought it was Breaker. 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 Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, why didn't why didn't you use my picture? <laughs> what about mine? Can I can move him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't get used to him because so far you're two for two in session. Yeah, I know. That's fine. We'll get another right. one. <laughs> okay, so loads of snakes around, right? I've got my pan pipes. Guys, let's have a let's guys. Let's quickly discuss what we're gonna do here. I'm apparently not there. So. Yeah, you're with you're with the Baron, right? If you remember, uh, right, yeah. what what's our plan? I don't really know. Do, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to kill him. Well, I mean, well, I mean, is this is where this is. I, well, I don't know, but maybe he's a kooky I mean, motherfucker. He's we crazy. can't keep, we can't keep saving this fellow law guy. He's just what? We could kill what him. are we doing here? We could kill him. <sighs> but uh, he's. If we were going to kill him, we should have done that earlier. I don't think we should kill him. He did just save the other guy's life. Ugh. Thank you. Yeah, he's done, Which guy? He's done one good The one that the, the Burger Master was going to kill. I thought he just, he just got dragged through the streets. No, but he's he not doesn't. dead, is he? He's, yeah, because he's not dead. Mm. Right. Doesn't seem like... Okay, right. Well, if we go in here, this is going to lead to a fight. And we're going to have to kill someone. You know that, right? Why can't we just kind of talk it through? Well, I'm so I can try. I, I, I'm, I'm happy to talk or stand back and watch someone else talk. But let's, I'm... let's talk first and start killing people later. Let's not be like Thalador now, shall we? I like that plan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I was hoping we'd do. But you know, <laughs> I know how this goes. That guy is nuts. Yes. He's going to try and kill us. It's crazy as shit. I'm okay. not going to get caught with my pants down here. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want that to happen again. <laughs> no, not again. Not after that last time. Ugh. Do you think this beard is long? <laughs> I shoot. I shoot Hamish and look. It's like not you, not you and that, not you and the elf, surely. Not, not yet. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. Into the house we go. <laughs> do, I, do I go in unopposed once again? Yeah, the guards shoot? literally uh, don't give a shit. Is this woman still here? The maid? Uh, yeah, the maid bows as you enter, but... <laughs> Good evening. She, she recognises you and she kind of doesn't give a shit. Up to the up the stairs we go, then. Evening. 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 Uh, 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 hello, executioner. <laughs> Can't remember your name. Hello again. Whee! 
he just he doesn't even pay any heat he doesn't give a shit oh, I think I remember uh, his house goodbye. Is on goodbye again <laughs> oh yeah he has dogs I forget oh, yeah. so as yeah. you enter the room the Baron stood behind the same desk laughing and joking with an absolutely massive glass of uh, wine Beautiful. in his hand and Pete Pete's there in the background with a smaller glass of wine. Like, a noticeably smaller glass of wine. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, oh hello! I'm, gonna t I'm so letting Elliot do the talking on this one. <laughs> uh, uh, why'd you run off? Run off? We were in the procession, my boy. What's the problem? I just thought you'd want to light the pyre, rather than... I did. I cast a fireball on it. He did, he uh, did. I thought you'd... Oh, sorry, okay, I forgot. Um, oh, and right. glorious it was, wasn't it? I think everyone uh, very much enjoyed the event. Oh, yeah. Was much my merriment. Fire is, my fire is often known as the best fire in all the land. Yes, yes. I've heard people refer to you as a fire tongue or something. That's right. It was fire throat. Fire throat, yes. It yes, is, but I'm that's it. Well, I mean, that's that's great. It was it was fantastic. Yeah, best um, bomb fire I've ever seen. Um, so, w w what are you doing back here then? This is my house. What's the problem? <laughs> What's <laughs> why? Why is Thelen all back here? What? What? What were you talking about? Just how much of a success? With... Exactly, exactly. And how wonderful the whole event was, and there was nothing wrong with the event at all. That's what we were talking about. Uh, how, how great the town is, and how lovely everyone is, and how respected and well-loved this man truly is. Valor, uh, or you. You well, really present a fine fellow, you know. <laughs> Thank you very I mean, much. Yeah. Uh, that's nice I would... Say. Don't mean to interrupt, but I would agree with absolutely none of what you just said. Well, Thalor has a lot to drink, so don't 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 heed too much of what he says. But I know you agree with me because I am the Burgermaster. <laughs> well, yes, I, I I think that you might be the Burgermaster, but I still think that that poor man that you dragged through the town didn't quite deserve that punishment. Oh, he's just a guard. He'll be all right in the morning. Where, where is he now? Don't worry yourselves about that. Yes, mm. no, please don't worry yourselves about that. He's absolutely fine. Did you fine. see him, Felenor? Well, he, I, I didn't need to see him because the Burgermaster said he's fine. So, of course he is. Well, I mean, I'd like to see for myself. I mean, just to help a man out. Well, I, really I mean, I, I can put you in the brig more, as well if you'd like. <laughs> I think we've got more pressing matters to attend to, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm inclined to agree. I think there must be evil out there bigger than this that we can look into. Yes, yes, go and uh, adventure. Thalinor, you're welcome to stay, but the rest of you uh, perhaps make your way to more appropriate lodgings like the pub or just... Bugger off. <laughs> <laughs> or, or perhaps, or perhaps, Burger Master off. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh I, I do, I do crack some hilarious jokes. So you. funny. I mean, Thank if, you, yes. Salano, if you want to stay in as an honorary guest up town, we can continue on without you. If you no, no, no. You see, you see, Burger Master. These poor fools will die the, uh, the first five minutes they leave this town, so I really must be getting on with them. Oh, but, I understand, but do yes. be back soon. Do come back to town soon. Oh, the next will. celebration is in a, just a week. <laughs> a week? A week? Well, 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 we'll see what we can do, certainly. Who knows where we'll be in this wonderful, gorgeous land that surrounds us. So. Yes, well, we don't see many uh, interesting folk passing through, so... A man as fine as yourself, I'm always welcome as a guest of honour. And a man as noble as yourself is always welcome as a guest of honour in my house as well. Now, I bid you good, good day, Burgermaster. It's been an absolute pleasure, and we must be on. Let's go, uh, everyone, uh, yes? Just, well, one more thing, if I may. 
Yes, what? little man. What law did that man break in the town? The law of the Burgomaster. I'm gonna shoot Which is whatever I bloody say it is. I'm gonna shoot Hamish a look that says, that's it, no more. <laughs> Tap out. <laughs> I am right. also shooting Hamish a look that says exactly the same thing, but he probably can't read it. He has no idea. <laughs> <Trust me. laughs> Valinor, if you could escort your little friend here out of my mansion, I'd much appreciate it. Of course, of course, my dear fellow, mm. of course. Come along, little fool, let's be off with you. Right. Come on, Bye, then. I think your stench is upsetting the dogs. So I, I, I just leave and slam the door behind me. <laughs> I, uh, we all better go with him in case he gets lost. Let's go. Come on, hurry up. Mm -hmm. Cool. Are we out now? Okay, so yeah, you leave the mansion. No one tries. No allowed. one gives any shits about you walking around the mansion. So I'm not allowed to be my own character. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so like I will, I will not actually follow my own character. The, rules. the shoot of the look was: if you try and kill him, <laughs> this is gonna get real. Yeah, <laughs> get real, oh, real I hard. Just... The guy with the demon arm probably will have something to say about it. Maybe I know, but all right. Look, on, this is on, the problem with lawful good on, with an ideal that's I obey the law and I. Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean we can't come they, back. But they're technically but, in the yeah. town. The burglar's word, word, word was. I know. Well, that's why I asked because. Uh, so how do I? If this is the law. Then... Well, corruption's corruption. So, but it doesn't mean we can't come back. I just genuinely believe that whilst he's a friendly face and a massive douche, he's still got power and. I know. Power. I know. Well, it's, it's just yeah. All right. Bigger fist to fry, I think. Do you, want, do you want to follow the law, or do you want to die? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's no, I know. To, well... He was able to have a man dragged through the streets for having a little chuckle, and nobody tried to stop him. A whole town nope. of people. I don't want to get away from it, because if the festivals are about being happy, then he would think, man was obviously happy, so... He might be crazy. Really? He might be crazy. It's <laughs> probably about him being happy. Yeah. <laughs> he's happy, everyone's happy. That's the law. He might be straight All right. up fucking Fine. Loony. Fine. A lesser um, man would have just ripped out his hammer and shoved it up that man's ass, but that's fine. All in. You are a lesser. You are a lesser man. You're a dwarf. All in. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I will not tolerate <laughs> this sort of racism. As, as Hamish strides straight back into the mansion. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, right. And puts we will right see. Right the burger ass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I say. Let's go to the pub and figure out which quest. I mean, who we're going to help. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've cutted up this list of quests we have, guys. I've got this uh, almost right. like, like the... of quests. Some I've got this map where... Yeah, yeah. I've got this map <laughs> where there's objective markers. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> there's an arrow pointing. Sounds like you're playing newbie WoW. Not... <laughs> <laughs> there's an arrow above my head. It's telling me which way to go. Right, let's go to the pub. All right, to Teleport. the end. To the, to the end. pub. It's only because I want in music, to be honest with you. So, how are we going to get Katie to have sex with all those I don't want elves? sex. That's not my <laughs> aim. With all of them. What is your ideal? It sounded like, to be honest, like, I mean, both IRL and in-game, like, if I was to know a little bit about you, it's definitely you need a shag with an elf. <laughs> I've known you long enough to know that that's exactly what you need. How do you read my inner thoughts so clearly? <laughs> well, it's because you are so transparent, Katie. You're, you're you're like the opposite of an enigma. You are like <laughs> basic, Windy. basic human being. <laughs> <laughs> you're a basic human being who needs to bang elves. You know that. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty standard, right? Basic bang, we call you. Basic bang. <laughs> that's all I'm looking for. That's all I'm looking for. Well, next, it's just it. on to the fucking next elf every day. Has Charlie been telling you about the elf ears that I make him wear? Is that is that it? 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> no, it was more the whole outfit that he was like. I don't think <laughs> it's the, the legless outfit, outfit isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I think the ears were fine. Like, you can wear ears. <laughs> ears. It's the whole outfit. It's, the, it's to bring in the bow into the bedroom. That really fucked That's one up. step too far. That's one fucking step weird. Too far. And then make him like, <laughs> fire arrows and shit. That's fucked. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. It was the pointy shoes, actually. No, got me. Took it down. The bow stays outside. <laughs> Everything else stays. You um, leave your bow outside. The ears stay on. The ears stay on. Ears yeah, stay on. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, when it gets, the, when it gets the... to prosthetics next week, it'll be fine. It'll be the cre it's the creepy blonde wig that I think is. <laughs> no, it's, the spe it's the speaking Elvish, like the full yeah. like, five hours a week. Talk dirty to me. <laughs> Valla <Valasunda. laughs> <laughs> Um... I just said, I'm going to stuff my little elf knob inside your dwarf and bum hole. That was... I just came into that. <laughs> With that, this show is no longer PG-13. Um, let's... My, ideal, my ideal is about killing monsters, actually. So. Killing. Yeah, if that's how you read it. Slaying elf dick. <laughs> um... Let's uh, let's grab, let's get the beers in and talk about which one of these uh, the, which one of these people we're gonna help. Okay, someone might have to remind me of all the people that we. So as far as I, I feel like the wine them. one is a, yeah. an important one. <laughs> it's definitely well, an important one. <laughs> that, there's like two revolve around getting wine. Um, we so just we'll... do the wine one. Yeah, well, that narrows it down. Well, no, because it's, <laughs> it's the same wine. Yeah, it's just which. Who it's just to who we give it to. I think Charlie's trying to get us to get that wine. <laughs> I mean, we've got... No. Wizards, Wizards of the Wine. We can go do Wizards of the Wine quest title. Wizards of um, the Wine. Um, shit. We've got... Uh, the dragon dead man. Skeleton. Yeah. Silver dragon. Knight yeah. of the Silver Dragon. That's the baby. we got that one. And the, but we, don't... we had the tarot card told us to go to that one. Yeah, well. so that's like, wow. that's like important quest. Yeah. Uh, and then and we the, have... And the wizard electro <laughs> fishing with a... Yeah, that's a fucking weird one. <laughs> that feels like a high level one, as does Amber Temple. Feels Yeah. Wizards <gasps> of the Wine? I think Wizards of the Wine. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Wizards of the Wine. That sounds like a kind of like level fifteen sort of like noob quest. <laughs> <laughs> Wizards oh, of the you Wine. Shall see. <laughs> what what's Salinor saying in all this shit? I think Salinor stepped up. He's having a vape. <laughs> um, having a poo. Uh, no, I was getting a drink. Uh, did you guys leave Spice Drum here when you came over? Yes. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. It's still yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I remember spent going out and like taking an hour round trip to go and pay twenty five quid for a bottle of Spice Drum I barely drank. I thought we drank it all. We got through most of it. Yeah. There's about half a bottle of Captain Morgan's. Um... Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, man. It's on me. Consider thanks, it a late Christmas present. Wow, that's nice of you. For all the Christmases, I've never bought you a present. Yeah, thanks, man. That's all right. I didn't get you anything. Before. That's all right. You can leave nothing. You can leave, like, whatever shit beer that you were drinking at mine last time at mine. Actually, I probably yeah, drank yeah, some yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was Steph. Actually, or... well, what, what was it that you guys were drinking at the LAN party? Steph is Steph. Bud Light. Oh, Bud Light. That was Steph disgusting. Was there was loads of that left Yeah, I drank ages, so much Bud yeah. Light. Yeah, anyway, let's go. Let's carry on. All right, so... Yes. This is the wine. Wizard of the wine. Charlie, head in the, the wine. somewhere. I think you're not, not having any beers at the pub or just anything. One. It was just one. Yeah. What We're, time of day is it? We're thinking of uh, going. It's, day drink. It's day. like middle of the day. Yeah. Oh, so. Let's get on then. Yeah. yeah. Erwin Mark Markatov is still there. If you got any questions, he he's one of the wine quest givers. Yeah, yeah. We're just. Yeah. We're, we're, I'll raise a glass. It's like we're just got. We're after this. We're just going to the Wizards of the Wine. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Tell them Erwin sent you. Uh, that he'll he'll know who I am. Okay. Have well, you got any we... plastic caps, mate? Is it... <laughs> no, plastic. no, we're we're uh, <laughs> environmentally oh, friendly. <laughs> <laughs> My little cousin Greta Thunberg would have a word with you. <laughs> oh dear. Um, let's go to the. Fox She's a dwarf. You go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> She's a retard, did you say? Um, let's, <laughs> let's let's go to the Wizards of the Wine. Yeah, okay. Right. She's destroyed her future. I can't believe she's fucking sixteen odd. She's just like twelve years old. She's four out of ten. That would be the power move from Trump, wouldn't it? 
<laughs> would not fight. But he did, he did! He did yeah, the he wrote, he did this. Like a, I don't think it was a real I think right, it was so. a joke. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let's take a I think it was West, so let's take a big left at Intervention yeah. Lake through Intervent Town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you've been told Wizards of the Wine is well signposted and to the west oh. of here. Oh, that's easy then. We'll follow oh, the... Yeah. Just yeah, just let's try saying Wizards of the Wine. Uh, right, let me get the reveal icons. Oh, I also like? need to get the oh, appropriate... Really super loud. Huh? Pardon? Oh, is that the pub? No, yeah. Pub. It was our neighbours talking. I'm doing the journey music. <laughs> Unfortunately, it sounds like you're in a horse and cart, but you're not. Uh, we are? Didn't we get a horse and cart? Oh, yeah, didn't someone Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you have a ho you have a horse, just one, <laughs> and a tiny little cot. To carry what, like, what was it? Ten, eight barrels. Eight barrels. Can barrels you hear the one? carriage music? Uh, yes. yes. I can't cool. hear any music. If I got my well, you're deaf, aren't you? So, it's yeah, I can hear it. It's, it's not quiet. playing. It's super, super loud for me. I can barely hear you guys. It sounds like rain. Yeah. Oh God. Like rain. You hear that? Um, okay, I got yeah, it now. Yeah, it sounds like rain. Okay. Is it raining? <laughs> it's just really depressing outside. Fog all over the place. It's always so depressing. Trudging through. Right. Okay. You approach. Uh, you approach a crossroads. The road comes to an X intersection with branches to the northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast. The lower half of the snapped wooden signpost thrusts upwards. To an angle of near eastern elbow at the of the intersection. The top half of the sign, featuring arms pointing in four directions, lies in the weeds nearby. A makeshift sign. A makeshift sign has been erected, pointing towards the west to Wizards of the Wine and Kretz. K R E Z K. Do we have any idea what that is? Nope. Let's go towards Where's the quest marker say? Stick to the path. Oh. Let's, oh. let's, let's, let's go on the path. Shady forest. Ah. Do we have to you roll a D20? A weather worn signpost next to the road. The three arms of the signpost point along three breaches of the road. The arm pointing north reads. Reads Kretz, K R E Z K. And through the woods, you can see an arching stone bridge spanning a river. The arm pointing east reads Valaki. And the road slopes up gradually in that direction you came from. The arm pointing southwesterly reads the Wizards of Wines. The road slopes gently downwards in that direction. Go that one. The other one this looks like the way to go. What's the other one say? Oh, it's so well. Oh, signed. sorry. The, the other one was Kretsch. Okay. Kretsch. Okay. Well, that's, that's a quest hub for another time. So let's. Uh... Let's go to the that Wizards of the good. Wine. There's so many fucking quests in this book. You won't believe it. <laughs> oh, I um. I love the quests. <laughs> <laughs> I love them quests. I love them quests. Can we kill stuff? Do we not have to roll a d20 randomly on this path? No, there's going to be a lot of killing, so uh, we're not doing it this one. Uh, okay. Spoilers! The wizards of the wine are murderers. So you guys are here. Oh, wait, like, uh, ping. Uh, after a half mile from the sign, the road becomes a muddy trail that meanders through the woods, gradually descending until the trees part, revealing a mist shrouded meadow. The trail splits. One branch heads west to the valley, the other leads south into dark woods. A wooden signpost at the intersection points west and reads Vineyard. I guess that's the only thing that makes sense. So I guess follow that. Yeah. Okay. A light drizzle begins to fall. Unpainted fences blindly follow the trail, which skirts north of a sprawling vineyard before bending south towards a stately building. The fog takes on a ghastly form as it swirls between the neatly tended roads 
of grapevines. Here and there, you see rope-handled half-barrels used for hauling grapes. North of the trail is a la large stand of trees. A man wearing a dark cowl and cloak stands at the edge of the trees, beckoning you. That could, that's, could only mean one thing, go over. Sounds ominous, but fuck it. Yeah. Agreed. Do it. Yeah. Okay. So, you head over to the man, uh, and as you approach, you notice... You guys are, like, here, by the way. You notice in the woods, on the edge of the woods, there's quite a lot of people in dark, kind of, hooded cowls. Um, but they don't appear to be threatening at this point. Um, you approach this man, and he lowers his hood, and he's a dark-haired, older-looking gentleman who introduces himself as Davian. As what, sir? Davian. Davian. Yes. Let's see if I can find a sexy picture of him. Sounds pretty gay. How dare you. You shoot back to me in a look. Yeah, I do that. I do that in a kind of a look <laughs> at your bum and then look at your eyes deeply. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello, Hi. travelers. How can I help you? Uh, greetings. Hello. Gavin. Hello. We're, uh, we are in search of the wizards who make wine. Yes, I am the uh, owner of Wizards of the Wines. Um, unfortunately, we've been having a bit of a problem recently. What? What's the we've problem? been overtaken by druids. Druids. Evil druids, druids. yes, yes. Druids Most unfortunate. Um, where? In the vineyard. Yeah. In my house. What are they doing? Yeah. I don't know, but we've been fighting them for days, you see. They have hundreds of twig blights. What? What? Hundreds of what? Twig, twig blights, you know, twig blights. I don't know. I, don't I look, know. I look, uh, I look I, at Falinor yeah. and go, do you have any idea what the fuck? So Kate, Kate would yeah, know what a twig light is. Oh, okay. I'll show you a picture. She explains what a twig oh. light is like. Um, oh, twig blight. I thought you said blood. Do they say, I am Groot? No. How big are they? What is this reference? <laughs> How big are they? Uh, let me find what she's saying here. Tell you what, oh, I'm Groot! Well. I, shoot, I shoot Hamish a look and go... Have it in fire. I, shoot, I, shoot, I shoot Hamish a look that says, this is the this is like the perfect Thalinor quest. You can possibly... <laughs> they're, like, they're like three or four, three or four... Wood. See, not very big. Uh, wood, please. <laughs> okay. Is the house made Many. of wood or stone? <laughs> the house is a mighty stone mansion. Perfect. That's Been what I for to <laughs> You see, the druids inside, they control the twig blights. Uh, I wouldn't stand out and fight the twig blights if you're intending to go to the vineyard, to be honest. There's just hundreds of them. We could just have a conversation. Okay, do you know anything about twig blights and how they're controlled and what they are? Kate, you would know from your yeah. druidic know-how that... Uh, druid, but yep. The druids will be controlling the twig blights, so effectively, okay. if you can, kill the, kill the druids, kill the it twig will blights. either destroy the twig blights or yeah. severely weaken them. Okay. I think I'll but you also know that twi twig blights are kind of the doing of evil druids, so um, it would be a little bit mysterious to you, but you know it's not good. These are naughty creatures made by naughty druids. So the druids are evil. Therefore, right. Why? Why? Why are you visiting? Why? Why do you come to the Wizards of War? Uh, because we. Uh, the way has not been sent, been sent to Valkyrie. Yes, yes, so. we've been unable to fulfil our deliveries, unfortunately. Who do you who's, normally who's deliver to? Well, we deliver to all the major towns: Kretsch, Valaki, uh Further afield, Barovia, the village of Barovia, all you over the to, land. Do you deliver to Strad? No, that bastard. Who? It's a curse on the land. Who do you normally deliver to in Valaki? Oh, Valaki? That'll be my son, the owner of the pub. Have you met him? 
Yes. I we've yeah we've been to a pub. We met the owner. What's his name? Uh, I've forgotten. Uh, uh, remembering you know, name. My son. That guy. Okay. I'm an old man. I have a poor memory. I'm not very. I'm not very good at names, so I just want to make sure that I've got the right guy. Shit. One second. I'm gonna find it. it oh, it's Erwin, isn't it? Erwin. Yes, Erwin. Erwin Mat um, Mat Maritol. Yeah. That bastard. He he ran off years ago. With his wife. But we haven't spoken to him since. Him. Well, yes, we are. Oh, he didn't tell you. You see, we are a family of were ravens. Okay, what's a were raven? It's like a werewolf, but we can turn into a raven. Yeah, Come on, <laughs> what's your problem? I'm exactly I've, never, I've never met a were, were raven before. It could be anything. We provide wine to all the land for free to keep the spirits of the people up. So why do you, why have the druids come and taken over? I don't know, I'm afraid. You'll have to ask them, if you can get to them. How many of uh, your people are left here? Oh, there's a fair few. We've been fighting the Blights for days. But unfortunately we had to pull back. We're too badly injured to go back. But if you could go in, you're welcome to all the wine left in the vineyard. What little we, we have a bit of a problem. We, we've been sent here by many people. Uh, and uh, what I'd really like to do is be able to bring enough wine back that I can satisfy both parties. Could you help us in transporting the wine back? Yes, I will provide a horse and cart, and two of my boys will escort the wine to wherever you want it. Okay. By the way, has your son got a mighty beard? Yes, yes, you've met him then. Bloody <laughs> bastard. But do people is... like you often look that way. He looks a bit different. Yes, he's very hairy. Right. Like, like a me. raven. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. Right. Well right. done to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're slow. Right. <laughs> okay, okay. I've had enough of these innate questions. I think we should get on with it, shouldn't we? Uh, these people seem like a purge. I think we should purge the purge, as it were. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. Hurry up. A word of advice. Don't yes. fight the twig blights. They are innumerable. Fight the twig blights. Okay. <laughs> Do you well, get more XP for them? <laughs> I wouldn't know, but I imagine not much. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. How many druids? I've seen at least three. Perfect. Be careful. That's they easy. are very powerful. Easy right, let's move on, shall we? Come on. Are there any windows in your house? <laughs> Plenty. <laughs> There's we even a see. beautiful upstairs veranda type thing. <laughs> Do be careful, it's very easy to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Can we like sneak up? Oh, well, it looks like we're here, but I was going to say. Can we sneak up? Nope. <laughs> right. Here's the flavour text for your approach. In the midst of the vineyard, the winery is an old two-story stone building with multiple entrances, thick ivy covering every wall, and iron fencing along its roof line. The trail ends at an open loading dock on the ground floor. A, a wooden stable of more recent construction is, a, is attached to the east side of the winery, next to the loading dock. The west of the winery is a crumbling well and a wooden outhouse. You hear the rustle of dead vines around you. Inhuman shapes begin to emerge from the vineyard, their limbs cracking as they trudge forth through the mist and rain. So let me just pop some of these bad boys in. Whoop. Oh god, that's so fucking hard to use this overlay thing. What? <laughs> uh, Surely not. Charlie? They're twig blights. Oh. Have you just seen all the twig blights? Yeah. <laughs> <It's right here. laughs> oh my god, that looks fun. Have they seen us? <laughs> so they've they've seen you approaching, and they're slowly trudging 
towards you. So you have two realistic options. You you can see here that you can enter and there's kind of like scraps of wood and stuff around that you could kind of cobble together a little barricade to keep them out while you explore the mansion or you can stand and fight. But there is a lot of these things. I think we should go what, into the what if we just burst into the door? Yep, you can do that as well. Burst into the door, speed round, kill all the druids. Yeah, you yeah if you want to. <laughs> Get behind hey, me. You you Would you please? Hey, right, <laughs> Dugan! I am naked without breaking. Alright, I'm going to smash this door in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready, steady, go. Oh, okay. shit. Natural <laughs> one. Wait, wait, there's a. Uh... Well, hello there. <laughs> Well, I mean that's pretty. That's probably strong enough to smash well it. Well done. <laughs> All right. Uh, the door's open. You kick oh. it. <laughs> 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 you kick it, and it bounces back and hits you in the face. <laughs> Strips of iron and wood lie neat piles on the floor of this workshop. The walls of which are lined with tools. Two work tables stand against the east wall. Cool. Cool. Yeah. By the way, I'm, I've I've got two hands on my hammer today. Okay. <laughs> When you... Hamish, if you please. Well, Smash. Do we want some battle music? Do we want some... Right. Oh, you're not in a fight yet. I'm All guessing... Right, I open this door. The twig blights are still approaching. Are you going to open the... Uh, uh, you? Uh, 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 yeah, can we barricade it with one of the... Oh, yeah. That's a better plan. One of the tables. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a much better plan. <laughs> can, we, can we barricade it? Can yeah. roll anything? Right. No, no. You can just effectively shut the door. There's a lock. Right. Okay, I've shut and locked. Yeah. Shut and lock. Can we? Can I lift up this desk and move it against the door? Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, I... Strength check. Whoa! Did the twig blights? Can they like open the door? You don't know. They look. They're kind of moving a bit like zombies, if you like. Okay. So maybe. But they're clearly. Yeah, I'm gonna. There is another door here. So I'm gonna should, uh, barricade the door, basically. And cool. Does, I've drawn my like shitty desk. Thank you. So they can just get in. Let's go what's, through. What's, what's comes okay. through us, I know a guy who really likes to play with fire, so we can just. <laughs> yeah. Well, this. If, if we get them all to clump up together, we might be able to burn them all. Yeah, we them down. Yeah. <laughs> Rows of new barrels fill this room. A narrow stone staircase spirals upwards in the southwest corner. Are the barrels empty or full? Uh, they're all empty. Damn. Do you want? Do you want to follow me as usual? Yes, please. Uh, there's a, good uh, there's door. a there's a door here as well. Please stay close. Where? Where, where uh, I'm going up the stairs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, the stairs. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Up to you. You can go up the stairs. Go through Scout the door. Rest of the house. Yeah, if, we up, if we go up the stairs, then I mean these zombie things are slow. So eventually, like single file upstairs, I think they'll be screwed. Let's go up the stairs. I like it. Let's go upstairs. Yeah. All right, upstairs. My father always said, first the worst, second the best. Second door it is. So you're going in the second door, all right? Yeah. Can I try and open it? Yeah, it opens easily. Two pairs oh. of bunk beds occupy this room. Against the west wall rest four identical footlockers. Uh, Tibbo, do you want to open these, <laughs> these footlockers? Because I don't open things, remember? Yeah, yeah I'll... I'll... I'll do it last when everyone gets out of the room because this room's boring. I'll go and try and open them see if there's anything interesting. Oh, yeah. But I'll look for traps and shit first. Uh, you notice no traps, cool. but in this room, you notice in each of the chests, each of the chests has a name plate carved into it. Davian, Andrian, Elvir, and Cloudo. Uh, you notice nothing interesting in any of them. Apart from the last one, Cloudo's, there's a small doll. It's clearly very well made. Uh, and it has a small label on it, which says "Is no fun, is no Blinsky." <laughs> what? <laughs> does that, uh, Thalanov, Does this mean anything to you? Does this? This seems. This seems fucking wizardy and odd. Do you say that there were three druids? Th Thalanov? Yeah, but this is obviously the chair. This is obviously the footlockers for the wizards. The yeah, but where area. are the other brothers? It's no fun, it's no blitz. I need a notepad. 
Are we doing Arcana checks, uh, Joey? Uh, you notice nothing magical about this doll. It's just extremely well made. Uh, it's a riddle! I'm leaving it in the chest for now because, you know, it's not really ours to take and it doesn't seem that interesting, so I'll just leave it there for now. It's enough. Cool. Cool. Let us continue. So right, you notice go. as you're going down the corridor, the door at the end hangs open. Charlie? Yeah? When Dodge leaves the room, I'll take the doll. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, add it. Add it a um, Blinsky doll to your inventory. I'm supposed to be the roguey thief, you bitch. Guys, the door at the end. Follow me. Please let me go in first. Please. Oh, I hate you want to go first? Sure. You can hear some movement in there, but you don't know what. Uh, there's something. There's something in there. I'm going in. Fuck it. I'm going in. And uh, hello there. Wrong room. Wrong room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, hello there. <laughs> in this chamber are a desk, a chair, a tall wooden cabinet, and a strange contraption that takes up most of the northern end of the room. Three creatures are here. One appears human, but is so caked with dirt and mud, it's hard to know for sure. Her hair is full of twigs, and her face is hidden behind a veil of moss. She is rooting through the contents of the cabinet and haphazardly tossing them on the floor. Behind her stand two creatures make entirely, made entirely of dead vines. Can everyone please roll? Finished. Yeah! Um, I don't seem to... It's break of the snake around. Oh, I need to add him. Uh... Where the fuck's my He looks so cool. Oh, I can't move him. Could you move him? I know. One second. Did we find the druid? Sorry. Sorry, I had to mute for a second. Yeah. One what? druid. One druid, two creatures made of... I mean... Uh, roll initiative, mate. Yep, cool. Uh, I go first. Definitely a druid. So the order is Charlie. The order is Kate, Dodge, Katie, me, Pete. Kate, Dodge. Oh, do you, um, do I need to roll an for Breaker? No, I know it's going to Let me just roll for these guys. Breaker. Oh, fuck. I just got kicked. What? What the hell? God, where are we? have lost God. There is no God. Sorry, it means we win. Right? I don't put Yay. the trust in divine beings anyway. Mm. Right. So that's that's why them. you've never trusted. God. Automatically. There is no God. <laughs> I'm getting kicked too. What? Is the only reason to play, pay for roll 20 that you don't have to wait for 20 seconds for it to load? Uh, they give you a load of other stuff. The lighting yeah. options are pretty cool. I'm going to give you soundtracks as well. What? <laughs> hey, you get the soundtracks for free now. Uh, yeah. No, the um, dynamic lighting thing is insane. Yeah, that's about it, really. Sounds crazy. It is cool when you like make it work, but it's a fucking nightmare. So. <laughs> Tell you to turn the music up. Like, oh, sorry, were we talking? <laughs> I can't hear it. I'm just going to go and get a drink. So I have a... right. Don't get a drink. You're literally first on the initiative. Why don't you do your role and then I'll give you a drink? Oh, for sake. Yeah, right. Oh, there we go. Logic. Presuming she wants water, but now I can't hear her, so ha 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 ha. She gets gin. <laughs> That's what I would love. Have my first drink with my son. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my son's first pint. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a proud day. Let's go. Come on. You didn't even fucking do your roll. Well, do your move. I thought it's Charlie. Oh, right. Yeah. So. Charlie's not ready for me. <laughs> hey, you so you could see Dodge walk in the room. Hello. Yeah. And kind of be <laughs> behind him, you notice this scraggly-looking person that you definitely recognise as a fellow druid and. Two creatures. He's not a druid. I'm not a druid. Not a druid. What? He's a ranger. Why? I'm a ranger. I've been a ranger oh, okay. forever. <laughs> I just assumed because you're smelly, you're just a. Okay. <laughs> you I notice thought, someone was also poorly washed. I'm just a ranger. Does that make you a druid? <laughs> um. Uh, and two. 
crazy looking creatures look made out of vines. Okay, well, what do you do? I'll go in to the door and look. Well, no, can I go from where I am? And can I see the druid? Yeah. Can I see the druid, can't I? Okay, well, I'll, I'll longbow the druid. In go the for thing. it. Ooh. Uh, 11. That is a... That's a hit. What? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm going to do my hunter's mark. Shit. Wow. And then longbow. And my damn mid- oh! oh! No, it's not, is it? What? No, you haven't done that, Kate. Yeah, you you haven't even done your- You haven't done your bow, you've just done hunter's mark. Oh, no, you did. No, did. Sorry, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's not the plus eight, the eight's wrong for the crit, that could have been if she had advantage, but it's not, it's just 11. It's 11, it's good for uh, the Yeah. That's 12. Okay, cool. Uh, the arrow absolutely smashes into this weird looking unwashed person's leg area you can't really see because there's loads of moss down there but you assume it is. <laughs> so what what are we saying is the druid this guy yeah yeah all yeah. right yeah all right okay so you can smell the druid more than okay notice him because he's not uh, that evil it's kind of friendly don't assume his gender it's no, it could be good. it could be friendly do I need to break it? Don't Kate just fired a fucking bow in the face, so it's a bit late now. <laughs> in the leg? Yeah, close enough. Right. Um, uh, oh, yeah, break of the snake, I get some move too. Um, <laughs> and he'll go to the druid too. Okay. Oh, fuck! And then. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, because I can't remember exactly how the. Damage works. It's, 40 it's, damage! It's when they, how do they, but he's got, the bread has got to do a constitution save. Can I have the book? It's half if it's, it's half if it's, it's con save. It's half if it's, if, it's half if it passes. Full Is it another beer without getting me in yeah. That's a pass, I think. I think it's DC 14, but I can't remember. Also, can you check, I'm sure there's something about druids being immune to poison. I could be wrong. No. Ah, uh, let's have a look. It's a humanoid, it can't be immune. She a bitch. Uh, like a dragon, I bet, would. It's something about um, the fact that they can turn into animals and, I don't know, something about the meme, of course. Sure, <laughs> she she but... turns into a snake and bites okay. over the snake. No, this doesn't, this doesn't have any uh, damage, uh, man. Doesn't say anything. So what's the damage? Um, it would be so 10. 10, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Woo! That's fucking, like, 30 damage. Bloody hell. Oh no, sorry, the first one was 12. It's yeah, uh, 22 one. damage. It's still pretty mental. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, at which point the druid turns around. <laughs> realizing it's probably going to die quite soon. It's going to fire off its best spell immediately. Are you making <laughs> <laughs> Oh, magic. yes. Oh, Guys, can we just. Kate's right. not maxing. I don't know if Kate I. Kate and Dodge, you're in view. So basically, the. The druid raises hands, thunder crackling from the fingertips, and fires thunder wave at you. Uh, uh, so Kate, Breaker, and Dodge, you're all in the zone, unfortunately. You so can you do a deep save? Yeah, there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't actually want for Breaker. Just roll d20 plus, uh, plus probably nothing. Oh, I've never, I've never... Slash R, space, D20. I oh, know. D20, plus what? Probably, Zero. Probably nothing. Okay. Bing! Oh. Got him! Yeah. Oh! Got him! Wow, well done. Uh, you all take five damage. She's just a bitch, no problem. She's easy. Uh, Fucking hell. Uh, 31, 26. How my snake has? Doge. Snake? Yeah, break it, how much oh, I, I fucked this bitch up. Dibbo. Oh, but I don't get advantage. You going for the druid? Yeah, it's a shame. She don't get advantage because she attacked. She's really sad. Okay, the other two haven't. Yeah, I know, but, you know, there's a, in my head, uh, the wizard said to me, like, if you kill the druids, all the twig things die. Yeah. I see two twig things, I kill druids. I've told you that. Go for yeah, the, that's go it. For the, you told me that. things. I yeah. did say aim for the druids, not the twigs. Yeah, so in my head, I'm Back like, let's kill this bitch. Yeah. And then hopefully these two will crumble into nothingness. Probably not, but I gotta try. Where is the rapier? Guardy. Oh yeah, that's a hit. Ugh. Fifteen. Fucking hell! All right. Uh, 
you have killed the druid, so you need to just... <laughs> um, after she, Fucking like, fuck that guy up. So she goes, like, well, he or whatever, the fucking druid, goes for a big clap to try and knock me back or whatever. I've seen this spell. Someone else does it. I think it's both the wizards, actually. Yeah. 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 Uh, massively dodge out the way, and I just, like, go to poke his eyes out, but push way too far and straight into the brain. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Laters. <laughs> I don't want to, the problem is like I see all the dirt and moss and shit. I don't want to get my blade covered in shit. So you have yeah. shit covered all over your thumbs now. Always, <laughs> 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 I misjudge how like hard a skull would be, but she's so decrepit and fucked. I just go all the way through to the hilt and go. Oh man, oh. I didn't want to right. do that to the blade. <laughs> Katie, you've seen Dodge run into the room, Hello. Breaker the Snake run into the room, and Kate fire into the room, but you don't really know what's going on. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to him Chill. and have a look. What's going on? You see Dodge with his thumb way into a <laughs> decrepit looking woman's skull. Yeah. And two <laughs> it's not the first time you've seen it. Humanoids made out of vines. His thumb deep. <laughs> what, what are the humanoids looking at? Like, uh, You can't tell because they don't have eyes. No, no, no. I mean, like, are they looking like they're about to crumble to nothing? Because they're, they're, just... uh, they're looking pretty dench. Probably okay. like DS. Oh, I think I've got to attack the druids then. Hey, I, I should, gonna, Oh, wait. <laughs> I've got a great uh, one. <laughs> I'm going to cast... Oh, I don't know which one. She didn't see that coming. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, that's not, yeah, I'm not even worried about that shit. I've got something I'm going to cast a uh, Ray of Frost on the, on the nearest druid to me. Okay. <laughs> Oh shit, shit, that's a hit. Alright, roll for damage. Oh, oh, oh wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, this thing now turns around, sees Dodge knuckle deep in uh, his <laughs> master's head, and does. Not a lot. Let's do this. Oh, fuck you. Ha! You shit. Oh, God you're shit. damn it. You shit. And as a bonus action, it does this. Uh. Oh, I need to wiggle that. That's right. Uh, so you, the three of you, need to do a DC 12 strength saving throw. Me too. Yeah. Kate, Dodge, and. What about and Breaker? Breaker is a snake, so I'll let him off. D Am I not breaking? I do constitution. Break Breaker is a snake. Strength strength. <laughs> oh, I thought it was strength. Which one's that? Strength. This one. Up. Up. Strength. Up to the word strength. Yep, you're fine. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. You guys can't move for one minute. So that is ten rounds of combat. That's, um, we need to break out of this. <laughs> that means... Don't worry, we've got you, one you, range person and the guy system. in melee combat, that's fine. Hater. I thought it was Elliot. Right, <laughs> my go. You are right first. back down. You just see everyone running in and out of this room, some it's... electricity coming out of the door. Uh, <laughs> Elliot's coming out of the door. Me first, you bitch. Is it? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, man. So, you as, as, well. as I get tangled in vines, I shoot Elliot a look through the fucking fucking solid concrete wall that says there's a window in this room <laughs> dodge 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 I've already seen of it. course i spotted the window i smelt the breeze there's two windows to be precise true. very true all right so one two three right, mm -hmm. <laughs> what will i do now uh i'm gonna charge him and smash him out the window i hope you don't fall mate I, I hope I don't fall as well. So I'm going to two-handed Warhammer, ram, and basically I'm going to whack him out the window. Okay, so you want to attempt to uh, push him prone effectively, but out of the window. Yeah, smack him prone out of the window. Okay, do a strength check, please. Yes, I will. Oh. Oh. So, uh, how should we do this? Okay, you go to push the twig blight, not a twig blight, sorry, the vine blight. Ooh. Um, 
And this thing is fucking rooted to the floor, like unbelievably strong. And you just kind of bounce off him. So do a dexterity saving throw oh. to see where you land. If it's five or less, then you're in trouble. Okay, that's not too bad. Can you I just whack him? Bounce off him and land prone there. What? Salinor <sighs> 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 turns around and. Peter! Leaves. That's fucking bullshit! These things are hench as fuck, man. <sighs> Let me try and find a picture. Yeah, right. A picture would help. I wouldn't have shoulder barged it out of a. tried to shoulder barge it out of a window if I knew it was. Less people are against. A tree. You probably would have done. Yeah, I mean, I would have tried, but I would have yeah. definitely I mean, prayed to the gods of the rolls I mean, a bit more. We've got to be fucking careful because if there's any room, if there are any windows and strads like chain, we know I'm it's sma there. guys. I am smashing strad out of a window. It's on. Yeah, that's the killing blow. Yeah. If you get the right artifacts, it may be possible. You can turn okay. to a raven. That was the best meta I've ever received. That's why it's, uh, that's why it's got to be like the killing blow. Killing birds falling out the window. No, I am immortal. Pete, what are you doing? Well, um, I know that there's too many of our team in there for me to cast any of my fire spells. Oh my god! I hit you someone. What? No, I hit one of you guys. If I cast my fire spell. I'll undoubtedly hit one of you. Wow. So, Tend to like. Uh... Lawful good or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> Do you want to trade alignment? Day to day, day to day just changes everything about himself. I've never been against the preservation of my teammates. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't worry, dude. I think I'm going to go in. I'm going to open this door, Charlie. <laughs> the last time we were in combat, you set the house that we were in on fire. Yeah, and I knew, and I knew you'd all survive. I had to jump okay. out of a window to survive. So did you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but dodge, dodge, you survive. It's barely. <laughs> you didn't really jump out the window, guys. It's like, Katie came round and. Oh, Katie said, Katie said, Katie said, Katie said, I didn't know she was going to fly. Out of the window. I didn't know Katie could fly, jump. <laughs> Wizards do crazy shit, man. You're going into the other room? Yeah. Of course he is. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> uh, W19. Uh,. Two pairs of bunk bags occupy this room. <laughs> Against the west wall rest Don't four identical foot lockers. Mm. Watch him surf some lockers. <laughs> <laughs> like How thick is this wall, Charlie? Oh, uh... <laughs> Are you going to try and smash them out the window? Depends what you want to try. Are you going to try and magic or are you going to try and run? No, I'm going to try magic. It's like plyboard. Somehow. So I can definitely <laughs> magic. <laughs> What spell? There's a possibility you could buy something through it, but there's also a possibility you don't know what's on the other side. Well, yeah. I'm willing to say that risk. Go for it. <laughs> well, I'm lying down, so you can fire stuff above me. I mean, I can't. If I was. If I, if I cast Firebolt, say, like this, through the plyboard. It would shoot through the blindboard into the bad guy. Ten. I don't care if I take damage on this. I want to see this happen. Roll a disadvantage. No, ro roll the spell normally. And then we'll roll right. to see where it goes. That's good. Okay. Hit the wall. Roll the damage. Whatever the damage is will minus two for the sake of the wall. Okay. So it, the fireball blasts through the wall. Uh, if, if the fireball was like a nine, then going through the wall makes it a seven. Um, <laughs> All right. Now, try. can you roll? How many people in the room? Two, three, four, five, six. Roll a d six. Uh, it's not six people. Oh no, it's five. Sorry. I ain't in that room. Nor am I. Wait, what? Well, we, who we got? We got Tibbo, Breaker the Snaker, and KD. No, no, I'm not in the room. Oh, I'm you're not in the room. I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. It's a, it's an angle me. though. It's a perfect ninety degree angle shot. Well, it's just gone through a wall, so it could have kind of deflected. Roll a d right. four. You also got to imagine like you have no idea what's on the other side of the wall. Four. Ooh. It's high. That's good, right? <laughs> 
It's a crit. Surely that's a surely that's fine. Surely I reckon that one. four has Hamish written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll give it to you this time, as it was creative. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So right. Seven damage to Kate. Twiggy. Well, hold on a minute. He's made of wood, correct? He is, but surprisingly, does not have any um downsides for flames. Well, it's vines though. Be... What? Yeah, Just imagine they're moist. Yeah, it'd be moist vines. Okay. A flammable object hit by this spell ignites if it's being worn. Okay, all right. Are they moist anymore now that he's been hit by fire? Like, has it dried them out? He's slightly <laughs> less moist. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life. I will shoot my arrow at Vine's face. Okay. That is a hit. Fucking hell, you're rolling tonight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Is Plus one for the Hunter's Mark, yeah. right? Yeah. Shit. Now for Breaker. Breaker the Snaker. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a hit. I mean, yeah, it needs to constitution save. It's a pass. Oh, he's alright, so... So it's five, six. So that was 17 damage overall. No, 18 damage. 18. Kate is the DPS. She's the glass cannon. Okay, so... One of the twig lights just fucking crumbles to a pile of... Sorry, Twins. one of the vine blights <laughs> just kind of flops the floor does in that, a pile of vines. Does that stop the roots <laughs> and vines and shit? It does not. Can we move Damn. now? Oh. Okay. Dodge, so it's your 30. go. They've got 30 points. Gotta be creative with this. They've got 30 hit points. I can't do a lot. Okay. Though. Well, you can't move, but you can do something creative. Throw a sword! Um, throw a sword? I can throw a sword. I will hammer it in! <laughs> it's like a snake. Um, <laughs> what I don't know. What the fuck can I do? There's no way of cutting. These that would be a cool down. move, you man. Just, like fail to save, so you're stuck in place. They're just around my feet, I suppose, or something. They're like all over your um legs and stuff. You can use an action to make a deep strength check, freeing yourself. Um, or I could throw the sword. That'd be fun. I'll allow it. I've got daggers. I can throw daggers. Go for it. Right, okay, let's <laughs> let's think about this. It's still dex. So I still get my all my shit for uh because yeah, 'cause I'm proficient in daggers. I still get all my shit. Alright, fuck it. How do I do? Oh. Twelve. Is twelve good? Twelve good enough? That is a miss. <laughs> I'm wearing <laughs> my feet. <laughs> Katie <laughs> Yep. Two seconds. Okay, bye. I was just reading something. Okay, I'm gonna cast Magic Missile. Level one or level two? Uh, level. Is Magic Missile counter? Hmm? No, actually, it's a spell, isn't it? Have I already, I already cast it? Once? Huh? Have I already cast it? No, I didn't. Frostbolt and freezing right, right. Fine. Last time. Yeah, you yeah. just did a cantrip. Okay, I cast Magic Missile at level two. Level All right. Two. Click on it. Yeah, that's a Magic Missile. Yeah, that's a level two. All right. Click on it. Ah, uh, so just add one to each of the damage rolls. Mm -hmm. So we got four, yeah, five, that's three, four, five, three. Uh, three. Twelve damage. Twelve damage to that blue. Okay. <laughs> the vines are looking a little bit threadbare. <laughs> right, at which point it is Elliot. Right. I'm prone, right? Ooh, you are prone. Oh, did one of them die? One of them's dead, yeah. That's right. Um, is he getting up a whole action? Yeah, but you could try and do something while you're prone. It'd have to be pretty good, though. Hmm. Am I on something? Uh, you're just on the floor. But the thing in the, in the back of the wall, what is that? Uh, it is a... Strange contra tra contraption that you're going to need to investigate. It looks like can it can I like push against the wall and like make the thing that roller thing sl slam into him? You could try. All right. If it, does it look like a roller, basically? It looks a little bit like a printing press. Mm. Is he on the other end? 
He's kind of stood to the side of it. Oh, damn it. If he was on it, then I can try and, like, roll him out. Roll out. Right, up. um... You could try and push the machine onto him, but you'd risk it also falling on you as you're laying. No, it's okay. Look, I'm I'm prone. It's fine. Um, I'm going to use my second wind, which gives me two actions. So I'm going to try and get up. Yep. And then I'm gonna, my second action, I'm going to... Not second wind, sorry. Um, what is it? It's the action surge. Um, and I'm going to wallop him as hard as I can with my two-handed mace. Do it. I'm gonna smack him right in the twiglets. Uh, you should have said in the berries, that would have been fun. It's a hit. Right in the berries. <laughs> Wee. Twigs and berries. Okay, so I am going to also make this a precision attack using one of my superiority dice, which means I can add a D eight to my attack. Okay. Damage. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, boy. Shit. So I'm going to roll on the eight. Okay, so 18 damage, please. Yeah, he dies, so <laughs> go, go right ahead. Describe right, that killing blow. Okay, so as I get up and dust myself off after an unsuccessful window smashing event, <laughs> I leap onto him and I drive the butt of my hammer down through the top of his head into his body and then rip it out seeing a sp explosion of sparks and and twigs and then as his body crumbles to the floor I jump off it turn to my friends and do a fucking shit eating, eating grin <laughs> there nice. we go that's nice. it oh, Titan likes that he gave a kick then yeah that's right oh. good boy Titan thank you <laughs> Daddy out. Well done. Good. Good job. That, see, I didn't even use my hammer though. That was a stick. Killing a stick. I wanna um I wanna take a peek out the window and look to see if the <laughs> fucking tweet yeah, thingies, the, the thingies are still. Are. You can see they're fucking all over the place. Okay, There's so still druids. hundreds keep, of them. We need to rush through this building and kill the rest of them before yeah. we get overrun. Yeah. Okay. Right. And with that, did when we killed the druid, did yeah. any of the twiggies outside crumble? Crumble. Nope, they look exactly the same. Darn it. Right. What's that? Oh god. <laughs> we need to get those druids dead. I thought he said that if we killed the druids, we'd kill the bloody twig fuckers. He also said so those were twigs though. Those were vines. Those were vines. vines. But he, he said, said um they are connected to the druids, so it might make them weaker. It but might not kill them outright, but it might just make them weaker. But, we but why? Set there's fire there's, to there's them. three druids at least, and that was just yeah. one druid, so we need to yeah. try and deal with the other two. Least, the other two. At least. two there remain. might be one downstairs, though, and if the twigs get in, then we have to fight them all. Well, should we split it up? No. No. <laughs> okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> Definitely not. I reckon it'd be fun for the DM to manage two game. combats. Uh, all that combat makes me need a wee, so if you'll just excuse me a minute. What's it do? does look like you have a watermelon under corner. your top. <laughs> you have swallowed a plant. That, it yeah. does. He does. Honestly, I, I'll, I'll take a picture so you can see. Massive. Can you say where you were? I will show you this nice. disgusting watermelon <laughs> that is here, otherwise known as my boy. My son. <laughs> my so my not boy. only do you notice like lots of twig bites outside, you actually notice at least double the amount that there was. Awesome. Mm. Fucking awesome. hundreds of these things. Yeah, we're on a time limit. We need to fucking move. If you go outside, you're gonna yeah, die. Yeah, we need to we need to clear this place fast as fuck. I, Is there any, I, was... I can't see under Katie's like token. Is there anything like? I said to. What? No. So I used I to tell my mum say that to my mum all the time, like, "Mum, if I stop playing video games, <laughs> I will die." <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at the watermelon. <laughs> I mean, that, that is a baby, though, right? I've got one of those under my shirt. Yeah, <laughs> no, I know, but that's just years of self-abuse. Okay. Yeah, I, I made mine. Just so you, know. so you guys have that, I have made mine. Finally crafted. Yours, technically, at this point, yours was more expensive than mine. No, that's but, completely wrong. No, I mean, for now, I mean, actually, to be honest, Titan's already cost me 15 quid. I had to pay for the scan photos. What the fuck is that about? Really? NHS. Why did I just give them to you? Yeah, I said to the lady, I was like, right, this is going on the ledger. I'm already, like, 
it, I'm already like losing money as a result of this child. Well, that is what children are for. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. Wow. Well, you know. to pay for the pictures. Oh. Yeah, that's no, it's bullshit. Back yeah. when I was a baby, my parents didn't have to pay for shit. Ugh. It's, it's fucking conservatives. Good old days. Brexit, isn't it? Right, let's fucking yeah. kill this place. Let's now. go. Fast. Right. Let's... Yeah, um, time. Time is ticking. Right, so there's a door uh, over that one. here. There's a stair spiral staircase going downwards over here, and door over here. Elliot, uh, the door, just get it. Get it. Yeah. Smash! Oh, interesting choice. Oh, holy shit! <laughs> what? So many ravens. The rich what? smell of fermenting wine oh. fills the large two-story uh. chamber, which is dominated by four enormous wooden casks, each one eight feet wide and twelve feet tall. Wooden staircase in the centre of the room climbs a ten foot high wooden balcony that clings to the south wall, which has four windows hey, set into the balcony. <laughs> Stacked against the wall hey. underneath the balcony, old empty barrels with wizard of wines burned into their sides. The balcony climbs another five feet as it continues along the west and east walls, ending at doors leading to the winery's upper level. Underneath these balconies are several doors, some of which hang open. Beneath the sloping roof stre stretch thin rafters, upon which scores of ravens have quietly gathered. They watch you with great interest. The balcony creeps, creaks, drawing your eye to a wild-looking figure hunched over the westmost crack, pouring a flask of... Sorry... Drawing your eye to a wild-looking figure hunched over to the westernmost cask, pouring a flask of thick syrup into it. She wears a gown made of animal skins and a headdress with goat horns. Her hair is long and unkempt. Suddenly you see something skittering along the floor. It looks like a tiny creature made of twigs. It moves from its hiding place under the stairs and disappears behind the easternmost cask. You notice the woman has a very strange looking staff. Uh, please roll initiative. Oh, oh shit. shit. Um, can we also see over oh. the balcony and below? Is there anything? Yeah, let me just... Uh... Are we fact? Break on the snicker. Let's go for a wing. I don't get, need to go for a wee. I went for one when I went into the room. So basically on the ground floor, there's... Uh, and then you have this druid lady on the top pouring some shit into the cask here. She's ruined the wine. Why did you do this? Well, I mean, I go... All right, so the list is uh, Elliot, Kate, uh, Katie, Pete, me. Wow, you guys rolled low. Yeah, shit. Mm -hmm. shit. Elliot, Kate, Pete, Katie. Uh, sorry, Elliot. Elliot, no, Elliot, Elliot Kate, Katie, 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 Pete. Yeah. I rolled a twenty-three, which is absolute boss, boss, boss. You, you... Let me roll for these guys. I enter the door. Hello there. General Kenobi. Are they making more uh, movies? With... I have no idea. Are they doing a... Everyone can everyone? Yeah. Obi -Wan. Hello there. I just want more me. I haven't watched the uh, episode one in a really long time. I watched actually. it a long ago. It's not aged well. Yeah. The no. what? First, like, episode one. Episode one? Yeah. One, two, and three. I haven't seen it in ages. Well, the Phantom Menace. Yeah, Phantom Menace and the other two. Do you know what? They really don't look as bad as they did now that the new ones have come out. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> really? That, that yeah. is true, yeah. Like episode one. Well, episode, I think like, story. When you rewatch really episode one, you're like, better. all right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, like, the, the new Star Wars one that fucking. Like, Last Jedi is the worst Star Wars film, yeah. hands down. Awful. So bad. Next Elliot, we watched it the other day and it was terrible. Yeah, you. Uh, it's. I know how bad it is because you used to have like faith. You used to have faith in the new Star Wars. Yeah. Yeah. I hate you it. Completely lost the faith. 
Yeah, man. It was so bad. I, I wa The first time I watched The Last Jedi, we watched a crack copy because we couldn't get to the cinema. And I we so wanted to watch it before the spoilers. We mm. watched it and I thought it was a joke. Yeah, I thought somebody thought had made a, like a fan fan copy and was like edited it in such a way that made it a joke. And then I went to the cinema to just to confirm that and then realized I mean, that was the actual film. It was like, thing, oh my God, they ruined Star Wars. It was so bad. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> well, you got the new one to look forward to, right? Oh, I know. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna go and watch it, but I'll hate it if it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds okay. like a, not a waste of money. It was bad. Uh, like the, fir the first of the new ones wasn't Hello. terrible, but the second one was fucking good. Yeah, the first, yeah, the, the first the, one was like possible. Force Awakens. I thought that was all right. I was like, oh, it's really getting somewhere. It's reinvigorating it. All right, cool. So Lots of unanswered questions. The second one was like, awful. they've answered the questions, and I hate the answer. I need to rewatch it so just to confirm. I haven't seen it since. What was this? Last Jedi, man. Just fucking not. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, fucking awful. Anyway. Anyway, yeah. Sorry, I've got to go and kill some shit. All right. So <laughs> these ravens up high. They just appear to be watching. Are they? Yeah, do they look threatening? All right, do these look like the... They look like they could do some damage, but they don't look like they are necessarily... Are they the attack. were ravens? Are they... Sh <laughs> mm. I don't think so. Maybe. I reckon they're dru druid familiars. Mm. Or some shit. Are these... Do these look like the raven that we saw outside of the windmill? Can I tell? Can I yes. use my ranger sense to tell? These are strad... These are strad ravens. Uh, maybe the strad... Strad and the druids are in league. Let them watch. Let them see what right, it is. I'm gonna, I'm it's gonna try and tell what their intentions are. I'm gonna go and try and run over to the the druid. Yeah, you can run to the druid, and then I'm gonna do whack it. him as hard as I can, and try and stop him from pouring whatever he's pouring. So I'm gonna try and interrupt him. So my okay. whack is going to be to whack him in the elbow in attempt to snap his arm in half. Okay, roll, uh, roll to hit. Oh, that is a fucking hit, unbelievably. Oh my god. I know, this is ridiculous. Um, roll a... Let's have a look. Roll a d10. 1 to 5 is bad. Oh, as you absolutely annihilate this guy's elbow, unfortunately he drops the weird kind of gloopy mixture... Into the vat. That's gone. <laughs> um, Dang it. But you get to roll for damage as you've absolutely crippled right. it. I'm going to do a trip attack with this. So I hit a creature with a weapon attack and expend one superiority dice to ex to knock the target down prone. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do my damage. Holy mother of God. Fucking hell. So I add the dice roll to, to my attack roll, but I also... Um, so add that to attack roll, and it must make a saving, a strength saving throw, throw to to resist being knocked prone. That is a fail. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Okay. Uh. Yep. Yeah, fine. Is that twenty-one? So I some. Uh. It? Yeah. That is. That's twenty-one damage. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Twenty-one I'm damage. Not, so knock some, prone. I knock him prone somehow through not whacking his arm. Mm. So basically, as I whack his arm down, he drops that thing, and I follow through and basically knock his leg clear, or knock her leg clear from underneath her, and she goes belly over tit. Nice. Okay. Uh, the druid is now prone. There's a window right there. I'm surprised you didn't. Uh... Fancy doing that? Well, I do have another move soon. Uh, it's now the Druid's turn. It stands up. Uh, <laughs> problem is, if we, wow. if we throw the Druid out the window, right, and then it lives, then we're fine. We need to kill it. We need to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> kill it! We've got to kill, kill it. it. Also, if it goes downstairs, then it's going to have all of its twiglets to, like, yeah. rally up on us. Okay, uh, that is the Druid's go. Now the... What do you call them? The twiglets? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Where are these? Well, how the fuck did they get there? There's four on the ground floor. Well, we're not on the ground floor anymore. Yeah, there's four oh. in the big room. Six. Are oh, those stairs coming up, aren't they? Yeah. 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 
bollocks indeed. Uh, there we go. Oh, me. I'm gonna move. No, no breaker, not you. And then fire an arrow at the druid. Okay. Round the corner. It's a That's no, a hit. Bloody room. hell! Oh, is that a balcony? Yeah, oh, okay. It's a balcony. Yeah, it's the, a balcony. The bats in the middle are like the healthy. Oh, I they see. Nine, ten piercing damage. Whew. Cool. Yep. And, and break of the snaker? Snaker is gonna. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Um. Oh. Uh, DC. Okay, so that is four. What? Four. Why is it so much damage? I don't know. That's oh, a lot. It's oh, it's the. Yeah, why is it? Okay. Add, why is it added? Because things? it assumes the crit. Six. Even though you don't get the advantage, so you just take. Oh, so how much damage is that? Minus five, I think. Yeah. Uh, what's the DC of the poison? Does it say on break of the snake is ten? Um, I assume that's saved. I'm not sure. DC 14 rings a bell, but I'm not 100%. Is that 10 damage? Or is it 5? It's 5. Okay, uh, Katie, so you go. You're quite a way away. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I think I can move quite far though. What, 30? 30, so you can move 6 blocks. Oh, 1, 2, 3. Four, no, you've got to go into the door. So, no, no. to Tibbo. Where's Tibbo? The door's, the, the door's here. Oh, it's the door there. Sorry, I didn't realize. Take so a diagonally. Three, three four, four, five, five six. Diagonal. All right. You can do diagonally. Yep. Whatever, I'm in the room. It doesn't matter. Okay, um, I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast. Watching Ray at this squiglet. Yep. Somehow, if I can work out. Okay. Two sec, sorry. Is that a hit? Please you do it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a hit. Is that only six? What is Scorching The twig blight explodes. It's completely good. Okay. okay. They are so weak. Cool. But there is yeah, there quite a few. <laughs> uh, Peter. Yes. Um, <laughs> really far away. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> can I um, can I search no and move? <laughs> you can make it to Katie if you got thirty moves. But can I search and move? Search and move. No, uh, you can no. search or move. I uh, recommend you don't search. Oops. Uh, okay. I start to search. <laughs> One, two. Make no. a range attack for each ray. Sorry, can we go back? No, Sorry. too late. Oh, okay. You didn't do it. Really? Opening yep. this door, please. Okay. Next mm -hmm. time I have three rays. I only use one. Damn cool. it. Go on in. Uh, w8. I would go in, but my, my game's acting. So. This room contains a large rectangular table surrounded by eight chairs, an L shaped cupboard and a floor-to-ceiling closet pantry. Next to the pantry is a small iron stove. Oh. And there's a door to the other side of the room. Hello. Oh, shit. Someone disconnected. I'm lagging, am I? Yeah, no, I can hear you. Oh, you had Doge! Men. Uh, how far can I go? One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, can I move four now? No. One, two... Five. I can move on top of Break of the Snaker. Try not to stand on it. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to... Don't break the, break the Snaker. And <laughs> I'm going to attack the bitch's elbows, because we've got a thing about elbows. Go for it. Is that good? 14, oh, yeah. that is a hit. Fucking hell. Hit them elbows. 15. Close. Look at the elbows. <laughs> She's looking quite unwell. Uh, Very near death. There's blood and glistening over the mossy. As a bonus, because I'm the 
king of bonuses. I'm gonna step back. King of okay. Bonus. All right, Elliot, it's your go. Right. So, um, I'm gonna whack this motherfucker again. Two-handed mace. I'm gonna draw, bring it down. Hard and fast. Jesus Christ. That's a hit. Fuck. We missed today. Nope. <laughs> this is fucking insane. And that's it. <sighs> okay, right. The, finally, the druid, who is looking very ill, gets an opportunity to attack. It's going to use its best spell, because it's probably going to die soon. Thunderwave. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get ready to be pushed off the edge. <laughs> what is that? Right. Uh, you need to 14. do a DC 12. Who needs to do it? Just dodge. Okay. Uh, everyone apart from Thal. Constitution. What's the fucking range yep. on that thing? 15 feet. Yeah. In a cube. Oh, dear me. Oh, okay. Yes. Mavane, you failed. Uh, which one is it? <laughs> Bang. Oh, fuck me, you guys. I've got plus seven on oh, constitution. Yeah. <laughs> Break the snake is <laughs> like, is like, what? All right, mate. so. Charlie, she's also yeah. going to trash her own. Unless she can craft the spell. She's also going to what? Attack her own twiglet. No, no, it's like a cube. Yeah. So it'd be Let's like. See. That kind of thing. What about them ravens? I, I thought it was a cube around her. Yeah, no, I no, it's it a cube was... in front of her. Really? Uh, yeah. I thought so. Let me read it. Thunder wave. Doing that not. Which you can also do the, the, the spell. Oh, yeah, orient. Oh, yeah. Originating from you, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Does that mean it, hit, does, does that mean it doesn't hit me? No, it still hits you. It just hits the twig lights as well. One. And the raven. And the ravens. Ooh. Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing much happens to the ravens. That twig blight dies. Uh, <laughs> Dodge, Kate, and Elliot, you each take four damage. KD. I'm thrown, right? You take eight damage, and you're also thrown. But let's have a look. You're thrown 10 feet away. <laughs> oh, this could be okay, terrible. right. Well, there's two ways you can go. So on a roll of d6, on a 1 to 3, you're going over the balcony, unfortunately. A d6? Uh, yep. Oh, oh no! <laughs> she moved too right. she... Okay. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> how, wait, how, wait, 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 wait. How... I mean, one floor up, so... Okay, that's not too bad. It's a D10, please. Ugh. Below. Uh, that's an additional six damage. That's 14 damage. That's not, it could be way worse. Okay, at which point... How many things are downstairs? Just two. Uh, I can not see. too many. Okay. The, the remaining twig lights downstairs. Make the wet. One, two, three, four... One, two, three, four, five. So, one here. Ah. And where am I downstairs? Where one do I here. fall? Here or something? Yep. Perfect. Yep, you're there. Uh, you're in the wine. You're falling in the vat. Don't leave. And you see another druid burst in through the doors. Oh, lucky. Bing! <laughs> and also. You start to see some twig lights crawling through these doors. Okay. Crawling? Yeah, there's a, they've like broken a small little hole in the door. So you imagine they'll be maybe getting through like two per turn lights. or something. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> there's quite a lot of them. You're, you're absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs> you, are, you are legitimately fine. Yep, I know. Okay. Cool. Uh, Kate, okay, it's your go. Okay, well, I'll longbow them. Why is it Kate's go? Oh, uh, you had your go, didn't you? Nice, Elliot first. 
Oh, Elliot, you'll go. Oh, no, yeah, no, sorry, was my go then the druid go? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you've already yeah, 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 you hit. Oh, yeah, it's me. These rolls are ridiculous. We are the best. Is that amazing? Okay. Eight plus one, eight. And then make the snaker. Breaking the snaker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, uh, before you do break the snaker, you've already killed the druid. Okay. The break the snaker. Describe. Me. You've got to describe the oh, kill. Oh, golly. Okay. She stood next to a vat of wine. <laughs> Elbow crippled. Cripple out Just it. done like a fucking thunder. Okay. Um, well, the arrow soars through the sky and lands in her throat. <laughs> where <Right>. she <laughs> Take takes a, a moment, she kind of stumbles, clasping at her throat, <laughs> and as she tumbles, as she as she as she's kind of struggling, she trips over her own feet and falls into the bath of wine. Nice. Oh, now we nice. totally ruined the wine. And explodes. <laughs> does she do a thumbs up? <laughs> she, yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah, yes. her hand emerges, and she then explodes, and then <laughs> and she explodes. confetti comes out, yeah, she does and everyone later. goes, "Yay!" Hurrah! Do, 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 like a Terminator, not Terminator, like a fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger like pun on dying in wine somehow, like uh, I don't know, fucking. That'll teach you the wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's how she goes down. To the other druid friend, just like, please. This is tasty. Katie, it's your go. Uh, okay. No, 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 Breaker needs to do something. Oh yeah, Breaker the Snaker. Uh, uh, he's rolled. I don't guess he just goes for it. Uh, he's gonna go for a twig thing. Okay. He can't get over there yet. Yeah. damage. Two. Oof, and then a constitution. Yeah, so this DC that fucking snake is ridiculous. Oh, it's alive! Oh my it's god. Five, so seven damage. Oh, so, yeah, so... oh okay, it's definitely dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he survived. He's dead. <laughs> so as as the druid dies and falls into the vat, conveniently you see this really sexy looking staff. Not fall into the vat of wine. Oh yeah. Uh, let me just try. And find uh, it. Wizard, pick it up. Wizardly. That's fine. They can roll off for it. Is that any good for sorcerers or just wizards? I don't know. Wiz no, I, wizard, don't I need to. When I said wizard, I mean. Uh, wizard. you can see it's got some kind of. Probably oh. need to inspect it. Charlie might have to dis uh, reconnect to Discord and get out of the minute. This. Ah. Hello? Hello. You can see it's clearly magical and quite powerful, but someone's going to need to inspect it. <laughs> and Pete comes running. Uh, in. <laughs> is it, does it look like a whiz, like a staff mace? <laughs> there a way uh, uh, I have a magic bow now. I mean, it looks oh. possibly useful. I know exactly what I'm going to call my call my mace if I get a really good one. What? I'm going to call it Everest, and it's a pun on window that window company. I'm going to no use it to is. smash through windows. This is the shittest fucking... That's the worst pun ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's why not you shit. I have, have to explain it's because you guys are fucking noobs. You don't know your just, window companies, guys. Why don't you call it fucking window smasher? Oh, what? Well, that would be too window obvious. Maker. Call it Dumb it down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it defeats windows. Charlie, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> no one else gets that joke. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm here all day. Peter, it's your go. Oh, so you go. you somehow m magically know that there's this sexy staff in the other room. <laughs> yes, I've heard of this sexy staff. You're also um, I'm gonna go through this door. To you, Why are we so... rewarding? Thalano turns up late to the fight and takes the loot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, I, I thought we weren't playing classic. Wow. I see what's happening. Uh, <laughs> 17. <laughs> The room contains a four-poster bed, its headboard carved in the likeness of a giant raven. A soft black rug covers the floor between the bed and the door. 
In the corners of the south wall stand two slender wardrobes with a tapestry of a church hanging between them. Beneath the tapestry sits a handsomely carved rocking cradle. To the north, under the window, is a plain desk and chair. Other furnishings include a wooden chest and a freestanding mirror in a wooden frame. Yeah, I just have to reset. I disconnected it for some reason. Yeah, 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 me too. I didn't hear you told Everyone them. needs to refresh. Everyone needs to refresh what? the what? Roll 20. Roll 20. Yeah, I had a connection. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Your uh, roll 20 is Trying to go get the lemon drizz. All right, let me just refresh. Pete, can you turn yourself up? Because you're really hard to hear, man. Yeah, sorry, I just need it back. Um, yeah, a beer as well. Something's wrong. Raw twenty. Beer is not loading properly. Yeah, mine's not loading. That's it. That's it. That's the only beer. There's no other beers. There's no other beers. What? I've drunk all my beer too. Don't worry, dude. I know the pain. All right, old speckled beer. Well, while we wait for the game to load, I might just grab myself a Morgan Spice. Yeah, yeah, two-minute uh, two break. Oh, I need to go and inspect my cellars. You're hungry, are you? Why don't you eat all your dinner, then? <laughs> you didn't. You never eat all your dinner, and then you snack, and then you're like, oh, I don't know why I'm fat. I ate all of my dinner, apart from one tiny bit of chicken. This guy's got a really good beer-crushing... Technique. Yeah, he's so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little part. Uh, yeah. How much is it? You've made it in 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yeah. Do you want to hold Trevor then? No, I'm fine, thank you. God, this game game music is so loud. <laughs> Just like you joined a little bit. What, whilst we're playing this? No, no, after this. Yeah, yeah. If it's not raining, then yes. Hello? Hello. Hello. I have to drink old speckled because that's how bad my life's got. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling, Dodge. <sighs> We've had that for a bloody month. What is going on? Yeah, it's not listening to me as well. You're seeing me move? Yeah, I am now, yeah. I just yeah, mine's to... back. I don't have any yeah. music, though, which is weird. But, uh... yeah, oh, let me start a bit again. Too You've disappeared, man. I disappeared. Mine said disconnected as well. Yeah, yeah. Mine's back. Yeah, mine's you, back. Are you guys not? Mine's back now. It was just. Mine's back. Went a bit fucking. Yeah, yeah, back yeah, yeah. For a bit. You reveal the room that I jumped into, Trevor. Oh shit, it didn't do it. It's dark. Very dark. Ah oh, man, I thought this Music would lead onto that room. Little oh, bitch. Thought you were wrong. Yeah. So wrong. Well, I'm trying to loop round to you guys. That sexy start, I mean, to help you. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm trying to loop round, I'm trying to loop round, just going through every room, searching everything. <laughs> yeah. Could you describe the room to me, Charlie? So almost just, just yeah, sorry. Really the room contains a four-poster bed, its headboard carved in a likeness of a giant raven. A soft black rug covers the floor between the bed and the door. In the corners of the south wall stand two slender wardrobes with a tapestry of a church hanging from the wall between them. Beneath the tapestry sits a handsomely carved rocking cradle. To the north, under the window, is a plain desk and chair. Other furnishings include a wooden chest and a freestanding mirror in a wooden frame. Can I run this through the desk, please? I'm trying to get you around. I'm trying to look around to you guys. So you <laughs> notice... Oh, let me have a look. So as you're looking through the desk, you notice that there is 50 gold pieces. What?! And 350 silver pieces. <laughs> How heavy is that? <laughs> it's quite a lot. Um, uh, cool. Uh, cool. Yeah. 
cool. Thanks, thanks for letting me know. And me know. You also notice a pouch containing a small portrait of a beautiful woman. Cool. As well as a pouch containing some gemstones. Okay, I take everything. Okay, cool. Uh, you still have four movement, I think. Okay. How many, how many silver pieces did you say, Charlie? 350. <laughs> three, 300. Can he carry that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's really lovely. Yeah, not strong enough. No, imagine like a sack of like 350, 10 pages. Yeah, yeah. Still pretty heavy, though. Heavy. Uh, really. Can I look under the tapestry? He's, he's going to jiggle a bit, and I'll see. I can smell money. Oh. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, where do you want to go, sir? Look under the tapestry, please. Have you got another? Uh, I thought you had another charger. Do a wisdom uh, check, please. Okie dokie. <laughs> Elliot's headset has died. Oh, good. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Uh, so, behind the tapestry, you notice secret, uh, like a secret compartment containing records of wine shipments. Uh, uh -huh. You can tell from a cursory glance that most of the shipments uh, are for the Blood of the Vine Tavern in Barovia. The Blue Water Inn of Valaki. Some for correct. What the fuck is that sound? Yeah, right. <laughs> What's uh, that? What the fuck? Don't you say something? Uh, hello. It's no, not Elliot. Dodge, it's Elliot. Elliot. It's uh, me and Kate, sorry. Elliot's headphones have died, so. <laughs> You're so loud. <laughs> Turn that volume right Jesus. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. What music, sorry? No, <laughs> Your volume. Down. Fuck me. <laughs> Sorry. You also notice some of the older records uh, <laughs> speak of wine deliveries to Castle Ravencroft. I bloody knew it. <laughs> but they're very old. They're very old. Oh. What's up? What's they're, sorry? No, they're not dated. I'll take them, nonetheless. Okay. What did you get? So things are going to Castle Ravencroft. <laughs> Um, and then two more movement. Is that a chest in the corner as well, Charlie? Oh, ah, uh, you, you've <laughs> searched the whole room at this point. Ah, right, okay, yeah. So I'll just make my way to and make my way back out then. Oh, your character is so hateable. Yeah. Doge. We thought you changed. Oh, fuck! It feels like you're talking into my brain. Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. One sec. We'll turn this. We'll turn down. Um, I, Are we really loud? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Has he, has he done anything in combat this thing yet? Is nope. this better? Sorry. A uh, little. Charlie, say that again. Has he done anything in combat? Not yet. He's not got to combat yet. Beautiful. Is that better? No, it's so loud. It's loud. That's pretty loud. To 1% yeah. volume you go. <laughs> um, let's... I get, I get advantage on this. All right. Ideal. That doesn't matter anyway. Well, that's so definitely a hit. <laughs> No. And that's so definitely a kill. Excellent. Got him. Uh, okay, it is the other druids go. It rushes one, two, three, four, six forward, and then. Oh, that's not by a window. <laughs> no, it's by a balcony, then. I've got you guys on 1% volume. You're the loudest motherfuckers ever. I will just place 13 Why are we so loud? I don't know. <laughs> Does a produce flame a dodge? No. <laughs> oh man, that's so lame. My At which point the twig blights also move. Ba -ba -da. Where are they? Oh, we'll just leave we'll that. We fucking murdered them all. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! Doge, you can feel the might. One, Hello again, two. my friend. So the door, the hole in the door is starting to widen a little bit. Oh dear. So they can get in two at a time now. What are we uh, <laughs> the fuck is going on there? So Sorry, Muttley just broke it. 
<laughs> okay, dodge two damage. Woo. <laughs> Elliot, your go. <coughs> My go. <laughs> <laughs> Everything just fucking peaked on the recording. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try. Oh, it's on the screen. All right, I'm gonna try and charge the druid. Yeah, I can do it. Ah! So I charge through, and I want to smash that twiglet out of the way. I want to whack into this druid with all my might. The right. twiglet does get an opportunity attack. I wouldn't worry okay. too much. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Yeah, it bounces off you. <laughs> Shoulder barge out of the way. Right, I'm gonna... Actually, um... Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna do something cool. Right, I, I've got a move called Ripposite, which basically, when a creature hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to expend one superiority dice to make your melee weapon attack against the creature. Mm -hmm. Because but that doesn't count with my whole move. That's just... So, RD8. Oh. So, as I'm sure, as he goes to hit me, I swing my hammer to just sort of deflect and I smack him in the, in the arm. Do two damage. All right, so I'm going to hit into this guy. I'm just going to attack normally. Two hand, two handed Warhammer. Bring it down. Is that a hit, Charlie? That's a hit. That's a hit. Oh. Smacky, smacky. Minus 15. Very nice. Looking uh, worse for wear, but still looking all right. You notice there's a few more twig blights. Okay. Okay. My turn. Uh, Kate. Um, can I help? I don't have far. What's my range on my longbow? I need to move. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, you can hit anything in this room, but if you're within five uh, feet, one square of it, you get yeah. a disadvantage to hit. Okay. Well, I will. Longbow, the druid. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Um, 14, yeah. Okay. On the okay. druid? Yeah, on the druid. Mm, shit. Okay, the druid is looking really very quite ill now. Okay, Break of the Snake is also going to shuffle forward. Slither forward. He's gonna slither forward, slither, slither, and um, bite. Okay. That's a hit. Nine. I think Breaker the Snake is broken. <laughs> Sorry, wrong thing I rolled for there. One second. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. The druid is dead. You killed it. Come on, describe that shit. What does Break of the Snaker do? Oh, <laughs> it's got to go in the bum hole. <laughs> in the bum hole last time. Oh, the snake went right on the bum hole. Oh, 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 um, <laughs> he jumps on to the druid's face and goes in through his eye socket and then out through his ear hole. And he and and uh, and he explodes. <laughs> right. Okay. And they always explode. Oh. You. Have you ever heard of a thesaurus? Okay. <laughs> to be honest, Charlie, it's quite hard to please you if there isn't an explosion involved. I can take like burning faces, or you know. Um, he did go in through the eyeball and out through the ear hole. <laughs> I mean, that's two and orifices in one. His brain exploded, <laughs> obviously. Oh, we're probably... Okay, his brain dribbles out of his nose. <laughs> and, and make it the same like as hot porridge. Like Coming in blood, it yeah, looks like a tongue. Yeah, he comes out and he's like, yeah, like covered in blood. Out of his eye. <laughs> and about... he licks his lips and goes, oh, yeah. How about break of the snake and like goes in through the mouth, takes control of the whole body, and goes, "Thank you for letting me get this kill, man." <laughs> <laughs> How many of these blokes are gonna have a go at me? 
<laughs> yeah, there's a, there, you notice there's more blights around. There's a fuckload of blights around. Okay. Uh, are they all gonna die? Oh right? god. <laughs> no, they're just really, they're just hopefully maybe a bit weaker. Yeah, do any of them die? Fire, I think. No, none of them have died. Uh, but there's still that mysterious staff. Hint, hint. Um, <laughs> which is here. Um, <laughs> Katie, it's your go. Uh, you, the doors beside you, the double doors, are like one more turn and you know they're going to break. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to... Meta the shit out of this. <laughs> I am going to... I reckon there's a staircase here. I'm going to levitate my way back up to the balcony. Okay. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Oh, Sorry? damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I was saying. I was like, KB, you're fine. I was just trying to channel. Like, uh, no, I knew I was fine. I forgot about levitating. Please, please, please. I shoot, I shoot KB a look that says, I've seen you. Yeah. What with these looks, you <laughs> cheap bastard? I've seen you. Right, okay. So on that basis, I'm now upstairs oh. again, I think. Do I have any movement there? My question. How about just that say? Uh... I mean, 20 feet's quite a lot. Where's that staff to? Uh, next to where you are. If I pick up the staff. Okay, it'll take one turn for you to work out what it is. Okay, how do I work out what it is? I'll I'll send you the staff okay. next turn. All right, can I go then? Yep, Peter. Okay, now I move. I'm just, just gonna hang back. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> There's another room with another chest. Oh. <laughs> Wow, it's like a crane for lifting barrels downstairs. <laughs> What's this bit? Oh. Uh, it's like a ramp instead of stairs down downward. Uh, barrel ramp. Mm. You um, useless shite. Six. There you go. The oh my god, there's a giant fight going on in this room. <laughs> <laughs> How could you guess? Yeah, cool. Uh, you've still got a spell if you want to. Um. Oh yeah, I can look at downstairs, can't I? I can yeah. look down here. Um, I'm gonna cast. Ooh. Yes, I'm gonna cast. Um, flaming sphere. Cool. <laughs> Welcome to the fucking party. Uh, it's a hit. On directly on top of this. Thing. Uh, it explodes. <coughs> it does. Yeah. So, but flaming sphere is a basically a ball, a sphere of fire that has a five meter radius. Oh, really? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Five foot, man. Go five, five foot meters. radius. Sorry, five foot radius. Five foot. Great. And it sits there for I don't know how long. One sec. It sits there for. Um, up to a minute. Okay. Well done. That's oh. flames. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blue flame. Go. It's very hot. Uh, <laughs> so there's a single twig blight left. <laughs> it goes upstairs. Oh, no, there's two left. Right. Uh, both are attacking you, Doge. No. So I think you'll be okay. Oh shit! I'll take the two. <laughs> two damage for you. Uh, okay. Dodge. It's your go. Uh, do they both stack on top of each other? Yes. Ah, fuck. Did one of them up. Key eye. These guys are so shit that I feel like a 19. You can hit both of them. <laughs> I don't do And the they nine. both explode. I, do, I don't do the 9. <laughs> All that exploding. You did it. Kate star the explosion. <laughs> so this fire, okay. The combat's finished for now. What well a um but <laughs> the, the fire's gonna go out unless you keep it. Basically the doors when you did your flaming spear thing. Spear, very spear, well done. Circles, it, it, spirit, spirit, spirit. You know, it set a fire that clearly the twig blights can't pass, but it also exploded the doors open. So either you need to get the fuck out or um, 
That's another one. Or keep that fire burning. What about the wine? Uh, well, What's he well, doing the wine? It's, don't it's mulled wine now. It's mulled wine now. It's fine. Okay, Katie, it's you, I will send you this thing. Hold the fucking phone. One second. <laughs> you, you definitely destroyed two vats of wine. No, 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 no. It's a flaming, it's a whole thing. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, but both both of those vats are destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that means the druid inside cooked. The druid comes out like <laughs> a fine bolognese. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, in fairness, the one on the left was already ruined. That no, wasn't my doing. I suppose technically you also set the stairs on fire. Really? So no, because the wine, because the wine is wet. <laughs> For some reason, everything else is fine. <laughs> <laughs> so say the DM. Um, can I move? I, Charlie, I can move the spear. I want to move it there. You can move so it? What? Fr- yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can channel move it. Okay. Um, up to 30 feet, but I only want to move it here. So it's in front of the door still, but covering the edge still. Um, and kill some more sprigs. Right now, it's just an XP farm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If only well, there was XP and not uh, no, 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 these guys too. These guys too. No, they're... no, they're new ones. There's just um, a new no, level twig lights. Are, are, are we out of combat now? Come You're on. out of combat, yeah. So <laughs> for a minute. Charlie, Charlie, okay, wait, 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 guys, I, I now know. What, I know what this staff does. I've had time to study it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If we, it's a tune, it's a tune to all these twiglets. If we break it and they hear us. And they're within range of three hundred feet of us breaking it. They'll all die. <laughs> oh, wow! So we need to get... someone told you that. <laughs> we yeah, need yeah. to get up close and personal to those twiglets, and then we need to get three hundred feet away. The star. They're only thirty feet away, so it's not. Are you still levitating? Yeah, just break it. Just yes. break it now. Yeah, I'm still She's still levitating. Can I throw her? <laughs> well, I need to know. I can break it. I'm not very strong. It's a break it now. Ah, uh, yeah, it's like a bundle of twigs. You can break it. Okay, I can break it. I'm just checking. Straight over the knee. Well, if she fry, if I throw her at them like a like an arrow, <laughs> then she can snap it on the way and then she get three, like this is, this is yeah, three hundred feet. It's a long way. It's fine. We don't need it. Yeah, we don't, don't need, need it to be thrown. They can probably hear me. If I break it, shouldn't just hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, but if, we, if I throw you, then you know definitely it's going to work. If I'm still levitating, can't I just continue to levitate down? I think uh, it, you, you won't get as much to... speed as if I... Then, then, I'm not then... going to let you throw me for no reason. don't have to let her. You can just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're not comfortable with being thrown, I understand. Oh my God, I'm, I... I'm going to break the staff in there. Just fucking break it. Yeah, yeah, just break the staff, please. Right. Up and break the stars like Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna float over the barricades. I'm gonna dip down so I'm suspended above the two vats of wine. Yeah. Yep. Reasonably close to the flames, and then I'm going to break the staff <laughs> over my knee. You just control them using the staff. As you break the staff, you hear like thousands of tiny little screams. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Yeah. You did it. All the twig blights are dead. And the staff is broken. And the staff is broken, so please discard the staff from your inventory. Good thing Pete didn't get hold of it. Like, he could have controlled all the rights. <laughs> That's a really nice piece of equipment you got rid of there, but the choice was yours. It had to it's be okay. done. It's okay, because now, just... now we can loot this whole building. I destroy evil whatever I find it, what can I say? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, that is true. Gain inspiration. Well done. Talk to me about the ravens. Uh, the ravens are just watching you. They look like normal ravens, but they are really... They don't give a shit about the twig blights or any of the druids. They're just watching you. I look at it's Ash. almost as if they're like security cameras. I look at Ash and go like... like this, this, That's one of them. This is the time. Don't miss this time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take my bow. Isn't there quite, aren't there quite a lot of them? There's loads of them. There's yeah. swarms of them. Yeah, I don't there's much point in me shooting one. <laughs> we had a guy who could move a ball and fly a fireball. Anyway, 
And we did it. Well done, guys. You did do it. You did do it. But Can we find some wine now? Did you do all of it? There's... Perhaps. Oh, no. Like, also, Thalnor, where the fuck were you? <laughs> I was... I was trying to flank them from behind, and I got a little lost. It's a very confusing place, this house. Yeah. I mean, what, where do you usually keep wine? In barrels. But where do you keep the barrels? In the cellars. Yes. So we need to go down. I mean, wait, wait, wait. what time on. is it? Do we need to sleep or now, something? Now that, like, You're in like, danger. The, bu <laughs> the building's, like, empty All as right. far as we know. We need to check, to check it is actually empty. Uh, so once it's checked the empty, we just go back to the wizard and go, hey, we did it. You can have your house back. Yeah. Uh, um, well... They promised us a cart and horse. I, I noticed a cart downstairs. Perhaps we should check to see if it's full of the wine that we need and then be on our way. You went downstairs? No, but as we as we came in, we saw the, the wine, the cart there. Let's, let's, let's search the rest of the Let's go downstairs then. Let's search the rest of the building, see if it's still empty. No more druids hiding, and mm -hmm. then we can go back to the wizard and say, hey, we helped. Well, Cool. the rest. I go down the stairs. Hopefully, Pete's put out his balling flame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, apart from these two vats are destroyed, um, but I mean, it looks as is. Oh, Peter, feel area W ten. Uh, glass blowers workshop. A dirty window in the south wall allows a dim light to enter this room. Wine bottles are manufactured here, as evidenced by the tools lying about. The wooden rack full of freshly blown glass bottles along the south wall. The hearth built into the southwest corner and the barrels of sand standing next to it. A staircase descends underground and beneath uh, it, the rack of bottles stands a barred door. Children. I seem to have found a staircase going underground. Perhaps we could have a look. Maybe the foolish dwarf could go first once again. He's very good at that. Uh, he's not listening. Foolish dwarf. I'm listening. I always listen, but I didn't hear what you said. Right. Found a staircase leading underground. Perhaps we should right. investigate. Maybe the foolish dwarf should go first. He's good at that. Oh. What are we looking for down there? Haven't we killed all three of the druids? Don't know. They said there might be three. There could be more. Mm -hmm. We should probably check. We know the staff controlled the twiglets, but we don't know what else could be in this building. Charlie. I believe we should go for a thorough search. Did we, when we went into this room initially, was, was it clear that those those barrels contained wine? No, no, no they were just empty barrels. All right, okay, all right. And then it's clear that all of these others are empty too, yeah? Some of them have some wine. Uh, no more than three. All right. Okay. I'll come down and I'll I'll, I'll be the first down the bloody stairs as usual. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. I'll go down the stairs. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's on the bottom of the map. Ooh, ominous. Ominous staircase. Right. Can I peek around the door? Are you opening the door, or what are you doing? Um, yeah, I guess I've got to open the door, yeah. Before this all gets tits, there might be combat in there. I just want to say that I'm going to be out here seeing what's in this room, just so I can metal the shit out of it after. What? Outside oh, this room. Oh, uh, bong. <laughs> There's two horses. <laughs> My very own horses. <laughs> oh, they're really big horses. <laughs> they can clearly carry a lot of wine. <laughs> Oh, handy. Now have a look in this one, Charlie. It's just stairs. W8? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, it's not stairs. I lie. Bear hooks line the walls of this storage room. Shelves to the south hold several pairs of stained wooden sandals with oversized soles. Both doors to this room hang open. The one to the west is fitted with iron brackets and leads outside into the rain. Lying on the floor next to it is a five-foot-long wooden beam. Can I bar the door, please? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, this uh, this door here is completely exploded open. So I know, but I'd like to. Yeah. Okay, it's barred. 
Might just have a quick look in here as well. Uh, yep. Yeah. That just stairs. Be twelve. I this one well. The turret has a sloping wooden floor that spirals from the cellar to the upper levels and down to below. Scratch marks suggest that barrels are rolled up and down the ramp on a routine basis. <laughs> Do you want to go down? <laughs> yes. Okay, go down. Am I then <laughs> breaking the snake down? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you got to go with him. All right. No, he can move on his own. <laughs> All right, go on then. I'll go down. I'll slide down. Okay, move, move down. Yeah. Downstairs. Sorry. Look down. Scroll down. Yeah, I'm just going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Do you peek around the corner? Yeah. All right then. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Gross. Uh, Kate, can you roll initiative, please? <laughs> I knew it. I bloody knew it. <laughs> these, I've got some lovely horses. <laughs> what are these guys? Uh, what did you roll? I rolled 21. Oh, 21. Well done. Let me just roll the initiative for those guys. Oh, wow. Okay. Kate. Yes. You. C. Wooden pillars and beams support this 10 foot high ceiling of this ice cold cellar, which is split into by five foot by a five foot thick brick wall. That's hard to say. A thin mist covers the floor. Each half of the cellar features an eight foot tall wooden partition that doubles as a wine rack. Something moves behind the eastern wine rack. Through the holes, you glimpse half a dozen humanoid figures, one with a full rack of antlers. You hear a gravelly voice mutter the words of a spell. Yeah. The spell is, unfortunately, Thunder Wave. Oh. Again. Uh, God, one trick uh, fucking ponies, these guys. Uh, well, how far oh. are you? Well, no, this this is an important spell. Oh, you're just in, okay. Do I need to roll? Uh, one second. Thunder Wave. Just to say, um, I'm up really early tomorrow, so I've got about 10 more minutes in me, and then... I'll yeah, cool. Go. All right. Uh, yeah, do DC 12. Constitution. Constitution. Oh, well done. Uh, so you take five damage. Um... Oh, sorry. No, you take two damage, but you're not thro you're not thrown back or anything. Uh, all of the wine in the cellar on that shelf explodes. Oh, Bad luck. Does any land on me? Huh? Does any land on me? It can land in your mouth if you want. <laughs> can, I, can I catch them in my mouth? Uh, <laughs> cool. Right, it's your go, Kate. <laughs> uh, well, can I aim an arrow at the main the main man, the druid? Yep. Oh, that's a hit. Um, 14. Oh, shit. 15, sorry, my hand is not. Cool. Right, it's the needle blights go. Okay. Should I do Snaker? Oh, yeah, do Snaker. Right, he's gonna wiggle. Oh, shit. He's gonna go back. Uh, Breaker Snake is gonna go to the main guy, too. Cool. And damage? Constitution. Uh, so that is four that damage or six damage? Dude, not the druid. Oh shit. Thanks for revealing what it is. Nah! <laughs> Saved. Okay. Okay. Saved. Cool. Saved. Right, the needle blights all come towards you. <laughs> Guys! <laughs> uh, so there's two in attack down range. These horses are amazing. Uh. <laughs> and then the other one attacks Break of the Snake of the last one. Oh no, he's gonna die. He's only got six. So hands. I assume that first one hits you. 
And yeah. the yeah. last one hits Break of the Snake with six damage as well. So I got six damage as well. Yep, six damage yeah. to you, six damage to the snake. Yeah, and... the snake is down. What? He only has 11 health points, remember? And he got hit earlier, and now he's got... And then he had six left, so he is... Zero. And then the druid does produce flame. Uh, what's your AC? <laughs> uh, 14. Oh, six fire damage for you. Guys! <laughs> right, Elliot, you can hear some kind of crazy commotion in the door. Through the door. Minus six is not nine. No, it's not. It's uh, seven. Please do not teach the future of this country. <laughs> Sorry. Right. Um, Did we roll initiative? No, right. you guys haven't. And you're not in the right. room yet. Only I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the door. Oh See? my god, it's full of needle blights. What the fuck there? Yeah, it's Chelsea. Right, I'm gonna open the door and then I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna start whacking away. Um, Come on. Can, I see, look, can I see the druid? Uh, yeah, but he you have to go around the... Alright, I'm going to whack the things nearest me then. I'm going to start hacking my way through these lights. Okay. So, I'm only got one. Uh, hmm. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Um, can't attack multiple, so I will... Yeah, I'm just going to whack the nearest one. So, this one here. Cool. All right, I'm gonna whack it two-handed hammer. That's a hit. Okay, seven, one, seven. It looks in bad form. Peter. <laughs> okay. I run to here. Yep. And I cast. Uh, where is it? Uh, burning hands. Fifteen-foot cone. We should engulf all of them. Cool. And uh, I craft it so that it doesn't hit Elliot or Kate. Yep. Or the snake. Snake, snake is down, he's dead. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Wow. So Elliot and Kate. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do some pipe. 13 fire damage. damage. Yeah, to everyone. Holy, what? Um, <laughs> I'll read it to you. Uh, 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 each creature in a 15 foot cone must make a dexterity oh sorry must make a dexterity saving throw yes that's oh. right a creature takes 3d6 fire damage on a failed save or half as much damage on a successful one what was the save? Uh, just a dexterity saving throw dexterity saving throw. yeah but what do I need to save against? You're a wizard, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. My spell save yeah. is 14. 14. So I think they all get it. They are all dead. <laughs> <laughs> and the druid does one as well, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh shit, sorry. That's the wrong thing. Uh... Yeah, I know. Yeah, so oh. she takes that damage too. Cool. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> the druids go I believe um, it's gonna do fuck man you guys are ruining this place this is a level 5 place we haven't missed at all no one has <laughs> yeah. flame against oh, Peter that's 6 damage for you Pete fire damage surely I'm immune to fire by now <laughs> no does it go down this way Kate it's your go. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll longbow the thingy again. It's a miss. Oh, oh my god! No, I think I think you said you mispronounced it. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot. Wait. All right, I'm gonna run around. Oh wait, yeah, you guys can come to the bottom of this by now. One, You're two, so far away. Three, and I'm whacking over as far as I can. I'm gonna be extra careful not to hit bottles of wine in the process. Okay. They're, They're all destroyed. Destroyed. Oh. She thunder waves them. Alright, oh, okay. So I'm going to whack her. Alright, and I'll do a... Um... Mm. Okay, I'm going to do a precision attack. So I add the attack 
So I roll a d8 and I add it to my hit if I don't hit. Okay. No, that's fine. I can. So I add it to my damage. It's a hit. <laughs> wow, okay. That druid is fucking dead. Describe the kill. Okay, so. So there's broken glass all over the place. And what I do is I sort of. Sort of reach around the back and whack the druid and it flies in f- um, forward and all it, it does is skid across the floor on all the broken glass and it just shreds his skin and blood just pours out into the room. And he explodes. Jesus. Alright. Well done to you guys. You absolutely <laughs> ruined this place. Damn it! One miss. <laughs> At the very end. <laughs> Right, I had gonna... only got seven health points left out of 30, so I took quite a lot of damage in that last bit. <laughs> Don't die. So yeah. Okay. Through... Is Pete, you exploring? Cool. Yeah. Uh, 14A. Ah. In the bottom way. There's only wine left in that bottle there. So those three barrels at the back are full of wine. Okay. All the other wine has been destroyed, unfortunately. Sorry. Whoopsie. That's all just the bottles in the rack, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. And there's a bit of wine upstairs. Yeah. There's some yeah. wine upstairs. Yeah. So, yeah, you've cleared this whole place. Now. Right. Basically, you can tell from looking at the vats that all the wine... You caught the druid at the worst possible time. Um, because you'd already put that shit in all the other vats. Uh, so you found six bottles of wine. So Sorry, six barrels of wine. How many did the people want? Didn't they want eight? I think the Vistani wanted nine, and the pub didn't say how many they wanted. Yeah. We can only give them what there is. You know what I mean? so... <laughs> can we... That's not enough for the rest of the whole place. As I say, you just pour... The corrupted wine and give it to the Vistani. <laughs> you can do that, yeah, I'll allow that. There's loads of empty barrels and there's two vats of ruined wine. I will fully allow you to fill up one, two, three. I don't agree with that. Six, seven, eight, nine. If wine, is, if wine is evil, we shouldn't spread it. it you don't know what you don't know what that liquid the was. The druids were evil. And there's thirteen empty barrels. Yeah. No, the druids were evil. They can't have been doing anything good. We shouldn't all right, all right, all right, right. Another option, another option. How Vistani, the Vistani have worked with Strahd in the past, and they like need to repent for their sin. I yeah. suggest. I'm not willing. To, I'm not willing to condemn an entire people. No, 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 no. Let me finish. I suggest fill the barrels, the some of the empty barrels with water, and uh, then. Can we water down the wine? We're not. Yeah, doing, we're not. Exactly. Doing, we're definitely not doing this. Water down the wine. What's wrong with that? What, the good wine or the dodgy wine? The good wine. No, the good wine. Water down the good wine. No. You can make like double the barrels work. We're not what, doing we got six this barrels. Here. How much wine is in the in these barrels down here? Uh, they're all, out of all the barrels. There's six proper barrels of wine. Yeah. So we water it down. No, we got twelve we barrels. Have, we have six bottles of wine. Uh, barrels of wine. That's it. We could have six more. We're not doing. Can anything. we destroy these vats? <laughs> anyway, I suggest you be quiet. So it doesn't, so it doesn't get out. Why, why don't we go find the druid? I suggest you be quiet because no, the fucking druid is out the front. The wine door. wizard might be able to make some more. Maybe stop talking you about watering wizard. down the wine because the wizard is <laughs> outside. Hi, wizard. <laughs> oh, thank you, my children. You've saved the winery. Oh. He looks around, two, two vats completely destroyed. <laughs> no. I would be careful. Those druids are pouring things into the vats. Oh, those bloody bastards. I've got more bad news. Oh, to no. the south of here. Yester Hill, I just saw Strahd riding there. Something's happening. He's working with these druids. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, there's crows upstairs. I think we've seen them before. Strahd's definitely behind us. Yeah. No, no, the, the crows are friendly. They're mine. Where ravens? Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> I can see through their eyes. I saw the good work you were doing. God, we didn't attack them. Yeah. <laughs> attack them? Why would you do this? We thought they might be Strahd's uh, spies, but good thing. 
They're not. They're You've robots. never seen a vampire movie? It's bats, you fools. <laughs> we saw these. We saw ravens like this before. Do you have eyes all over the place? We've been watching you for a while now. Oh, oh, you. oh, sorry. So you've been <laughs> on us. Well, we don't get many I'm visitors through here. Will... Any any hope we have, we'll watch. Well, we were told that Strahd had spies everywhere. Yes, bats and wolves, <laughs> creatures of the night. We count six barrels in your place. And uh, are there any more? I'm, I don't know. I haven't had time to look. Anything, anything left free to... How about the cart? Was the cart full when you... Take uh... the cart. Take the horses. I don't care. Thank you. We will not be able to rebuild this winery for a long, long time. What did they put in it? I don't know. Put in what? The wine. The, 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 the druids, they put something in the in the vats. Oh, no. I will inspect the wine. I suggest you don't drink it or sell it. It's ruined. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. <laughs> the place still stands. We didn't did get burnt down. That's a plus. Do and Eve has like been defeated today. Now. <laughs> Rejoice! Right. Evil has been defeated. Let's forget it. Let's just take the horses and the cart and go. But what of Strad? You. Where did you, you say gone south? Again? South to Yester Hill. Oh God. It's an ancient it burial yes? mound. We can't. We can't. An ancient burial ground. What are we going to do against Strahd? I'm sorry, but our Kill quest. Him, I our, don't know. Our quest. Our quest total is full. We 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 need to complete this quest before we can Strahd. Oh, cowards! I see. Okay, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> we could go see what he's actually up to. Better get back to that wine, mate. Him. Right. Anyway. Why don't you, hey, 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 Mister? Why don't you, um, why don't you send a few ravens down to Yester Hill and see what he's up to? I can see him there now. What's he doing? I don't know. He's on the top of Yester Hill. Something strange is happening. Is he raising the dead? I don't know. Is anyone else there with him? There's a strange tree there, but that's all I can see. I don't understand. Is it flammable? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a slightly off book topic, but what what's what's up up uh, in the uh, Kretch? Is that a town or a village? Or ah, right? Kretch, yes, yes, it's a walled town to the north of here. Ah, uh, they don't tend to let people in or out. Ah, uh, so I've I've never been in, but it's a. Uh, it's a small town, much like Falaki. A lot less friendly, though. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Well, okay. We'll be on our way now with our wine, thank you, and our horses. Yes, I wine. will have my two sons uh, send it to wherever you want. You're more than welcome to escort them for their oh, safety, well. or that they can do, you know, they can make their own way. Um, Where quick escort question. Them? If we were to water down the wine, would that uh, affect the taste? Obviously. Well, there are ways. Uh, it depends who's drinking it. Just because we've got six barrels, but we we need more. We've been asked to bring at least 12. Well, it's not the way of the Wizards of the Wine, but as you've helped... We're not doing turn it. a blind eye if we're you not, wish to do it. such... There's no way we're doing it. ...nefarious things. I don't think we should water down the There's wine. There's no way we're doing that shit. All right. Um, well, we need to pick a plan. Valaki. Uh, Valaki. We can pause it here if you want, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, all, yeah. You've all just gone up a level. Congrats. Yeah. <laughs> level five. Yeah. Power. Da, 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 da. Unlimited power. And you can decide your path next time. You need to what, sorry? Oh, my God. You can decide your path next time. Can we can we sleep at the Wizards of the Wine? Yeah, sure, why not? There's loads of beds. Sleep with the Wizard of the Wine. I'd like to sleep with the Wizard of the Wine. I'll sleep with everyone, Kate. I just really enjoy it. That's fair. Okay. Davian looks old, but you can tell he's carrying a large package. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm hoping it's more wine. <laughs> okay. It's definitely a full sack. Where's the where's the pun music at? <laughs> Ooh, extra. <laughs> Extra attack. What does extra attack mean? I think it's probably exactly. You get two attacks. One. <laughs> oh god. I yep. Feel free to level up your characters. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a, this is a big level. Level three spells now, baby. Level five is the sexy okay. level. Stop recording. Goodbye.